Kaboom! Teach them! Always make sure the message I reach them! Live from Kingston, Jamaica, broadcasting around the world. Around the world. You're watching the Teach Dim YouTube show. Intellectual, yet stimulating. Fair, frank, and factual. And now, broadcasting live. We will broadcast live. Live. This is Extra Class, streaming to the world and beyond. Beyond. Hey, let's go. You know, it's Teach Dim, the number one intellectual blogging panel on the YouTube channel. Good night, everyone. Let me know if you're seeing me clearly. Let me know if you're hearing me clearly. If you're seeing and hearing me clearly, welcome to another episode of Extra Class. Episode number 350. Scott, where am I going to be face? I trust that everybody who is seeing me, hearing my voice, you are okay. Your family is okay. Everybody healthy. Everybody safe. Um, Scott, you ready? Um, yeah. you still a beard? Mm. Introduce yourself, you. man. Good night, guys. Welcome again to another episode of Extra Class. Hope it will be an interesting one. DJ, I yeah, sweat, man. Your fun on? Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah, hear it? No, I'm not hear it, but I just want to say I'm cool. On. I take your screen until you're cool. On. Still, I don't really look right, screen really like. Yeah, peeps. So we're there. Um, have some things to talk about in our night, yeah. Seeing and thing and thing and thing. You know, all of the people them big up on themselves and all of these things. Um, another sat there. Zane, hold on. Let me mute Scott in my so. I right, me know they want to come in, sis. So that's what me know. Can me hear all sort of things in my ears around your your garden, your backyard garden. And thing. <laughs> so peeps, when I share a stream for me and thing and thing, no? normally, I normally um, 8 o'clock, but I just want to get a, a quick run. Still an experiment with the time uh, and see what works best. I know a lot of things go on on a Saturday night. I know you have on stage at 9 o'clock. I know you have, I think, twins of twins doing thing at 8 o'clock. I know I really want to clash with them things still, but I mean, Saturday just work for me, yeah, man. So I just work with my thing. Everybody of them viewers, you know what I mean? So I just saw it in go. Um, two locks on my G still. So um, we know a crowd would have split, but they're one of them things. Uh, just saw it in go. Uh, we're there, and some things, and I don't even know if we start. Yeah, son. Oh, <clears throat> we start, yes, you know. One cool front light <laughs> is to bring showers across Jamaica starting tomorrow. So we will be experiencing cold fronts, a cold front. Across the island come tomorrow. So the Meteorological Service of Jamaica sees a cold front currently across Western Cuba is expected to move across Jamaica on Sunday. So the forecast is for cloudy conditions with periods of showers, which could be heavy at times, affecting mainly northern and south southeastern parishes from Sunday through to Wednesday morning. Is a whole a cold front, I think. About three days out of cold front. Now, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, all of a one week out of cold front. Now. Yeah, so now, I say, now, according to the Met Service, satellite imagery indicates a large area of clouds associated with the system with showers and thunderstorms across the Western Caribbean into the Yucatan Peninsula. Additionally, cooler than normal temperatures and the periods of gust winds are expected mainly across northern parishes beginning on Sunday. Now, fishers and other marine interests, especially on the north coast, should exercise caution as sea conditions will deteriorate in the vicinity of showers, thunderstorms and strong gusty winds. And the meteorological service say it will continue to monitor the system. So cold front there I see. You understand what I mean? You want to be careful and watch it pre. Zane, I'm going to unmute Scotty now because you guys are ready to talk. Oh, your background Why nice and bad though. I don't know. I mean, you're not on screen it still. I just heard you in my ear. So. You hearing me? Yeah, me I hear you. Speak with decorum. <laughs> <laughs> Say nothing new. <laughs> right. So your peeps, I don't look at things here going. Um cold front you run another party. Yeah? So I guess you know all of the couples them will, will enjoy the weekend. Um you know what I mean? Oh you still my sister. Not looking good. The forecast not looking not good. Not, not looking good. Uh, no. Um you have a not nice you have a nice blanket that can can loan you. 
Jamel have a blanket it. when she depends on the bed. When she has it on the bed, I can't sleep on it. There's no space to left on there. You understand? So that should keep you. <laughs> I will, I will, I will, I will. You yeah, look, you look, yeah, man, you look cool and all. You see me? Yeah. Even though you paint, you look clean. The floor and balance. Are you are you coming? And, and you know in a mingle. You know in a mingle again now. Uh, every week you lean. Yeah, son. Mm. You look nice. I'll call some coming. Yeah, so then sir. Have yeah, a call from where you can stay home? Eh, if you have a call from where you can stay home. Is the type of call from that I could stay home? We don't know no call from make you stay home. Every rain? I just oh, might show up. Then sir, but the most in northern and southeastern parishes. Oh. Well, we're kind of in a um, south east still, so we could see now. A south east or a north east, we don't want to have life on them, you know. So I'm playing here, yeah, south eastern parishes, so we could just get look like. You understand? Okay. Could I send Amir to make a hug him up? Alright. Just send him back to me fast, you see? <laughs> 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 yeah. Alright. So, my, 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 my colleague, I hear that we are upset after not re receiving retroactive payments. So, there is discontent among public sector teachers who were promised retroactive salaries with their March pay. Speaking about March pay, we get March pay? Yeah. Friday. It comes Friday. And then we are full. <laughs> uh, okay, alright. So, you have to take a stream. I send it, I send it something come give you. I'm not okay. letting them good folks. Hold on, let me get it yet. Yeah, man, in an email, man. Boy, whichever oh, we get, just go and talk to the people, let me answer. I'm so forward. About me not getting paid until Friday? The landlord put me out. Too late with the rent. Uh, give me a second, guys. I'm not going to give me a second. Yeah, teachers got paid late, um, and there were still some issues with our salaries. Some of our salaries were off. Um, I don't know if it's glitches in the system or what the issue was. However, I can speak for myself. I was told that it would be fixed for the coming month. But just give a little bit of failure. Six or one half does not the other. It will make a big a big difference. Good night, Shandy Dandy. How are you? But eternally grateful to have a job. Eternally grateful that I was able to pay my bills. Yes. The money was short. Well, mine was. There were some um, calculation errors. I feel I don't even know who the... Oh, Pacha's in the... The artist Pacha? But, yeah. Salaries came in a little late, but it came nonetheless. Grateful, nonetheless. <laughs> Do I? Good night. That's all I say. Good night. Yeah. Over right here, guys. Another week. I'm happy to be alive. Um, yes, Rosie, they said there were some calculations. Error. Well, for mine, as I say, I can only speak about mine. I don't know if anybody has experienced that as a teacher, but I had an error. Um, called them and was told that it would be fixed for the, the coming month. But as I said, grateful to be paid. Um, and I could cover the bills. And another month down. One more to look forward to. <laughs> but guys, um, school is going on on the list. Whether or not pays on time or not. Um, we keep on keep we keep on keeping on so that the government is I mean it's what was said I don't know but that's what was said that there were just some errors in the in my calculation 
So I can only work with what was said. But normally, I, we normally get paid way earlier though. This month was, was a little bit behind, was lagging. Normally we get paid before the 25th or on the 25th, depending on where the 25th would fall. But it was in the media that there were glitches, that there was an error. Or there was something wrong because how it is set up now, you can actually view your pay advice before. Um, so they said there were errors paid um, and that they, it would be fixed and that we would get it by Friday. We did get it on Friday, truthfully. Um, but as, as I said, we would I cannot go in there. So, Williams, your, your peer was correct? Oh, I'm here running up in blood pressure. I'll be there shortly. You hearing me? Yeah. I am. Your peer was correct? Eh? Your peer was correct? So, what? If my peer was correct? Yeah. If your salary <laughs> was correct. We have to check it out, tell you. Mine was a little off, but I. Oh, I yours was a little it. off. Mm hmm. I'm here, I played with cheer, so that will take a minute. Missy, Missy must pin out. He miss it. He just reached for Mariana and said, Did miss it? Yeah, I think I'm going to run part of so. He's soon come. You yeah, know, I'm going to plug out something, eh? You know, I'm going to plug out nothing, man. He's probably going to play some other things. Yeah. So, I forgot to check and tell us still. Not many of yours was correct. <laughs> yeah, if anything, it look like yours. <laughs> no, I remember mine was short, so you can make me. That don't make me sense. But I don't know if mine short either. But mine oh, short are in such a mirror. You cannot go under there. Come. Come. <laughs> <laughs> Come. 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 You see, Matt, listen. Right. But when I stream, me lower it, so him too tall for going under there. So him head good as the good. You it now. Yeah, but yeah, him, him all right. Him. <laughs> my figure out in life. So, sorry about that, peeps. I'm hearing at the barber chair. So, um, teacher, you read the article? No, my, the document is you not You still not come up? Okay, so teacher, well, there's discontent among public sector teachers who were promised retroactive salary with their March pay. No, it's, well, it is reported that teachers have not seen the outstanding amounts reflected in their salaries. The Jamaica Teachers Association President Winston Smith says he will be seeking answers from the government. We are deeply concerned with the myriad of challenges encountered by our teachers in receiving their due reward. We take seriously the undertaking given by the Ministry of Finance and Public Service that all payments due to the teachers for the contract period April 2021 to March 2022 will be paid by the end of the financial year, which by our, con well, which by our account expires on the 31st of March 2022. And Mr. Smith said the JT will be scheduling a meeting with the Ministry with a view to have the matter settled by the stipulated date. And I guess... <laughs> I also read another article where the JTA president is saying he cannot guarantee normalcy after the contractual period ends in March of this year. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, that. So, we'll see. I know JTA is really a political organization, so, and I really take a lot of things with themselves, all that seriously, but. Eh. Yeah, man. Eh, True wooden spoon. But as I say, um, for me, mine was short. When okay. I contacted them, mm. they said it was some error in calculations. Amir, and when you close up your finger in the door, you know? It would be fixed. Amir? All right. Right, so that or that. Um, we have spent a lot of time speaking about the FLA of late, especially oh, considering right. that the Firearms Act is under review within the House of Parliament. Now, so out of that will come some things that, you know, will affect the FLA. So FLA is on the fire for unclear gun license revocations. So government Senator Charles Sinclair, 
sought to clarify and to I'm here. I'm here. My door. I look at my lucky mouth now. <laughs> so, so government and a Charles Sinclair sought clarity on Tuesday concerning fit and proper requirements for a licensed firearm owners to maintain their permits. Arguing that license <laughs> arguing that licenses are sometimes revoked by the FLA without a clear explanation. That is what I've heard. I've heard of instances where permits have been revoked and no explanation was given whatsoever. They just go for renewal and then them say them not renewal. Or then come for. You understand? So it depends. Attorney at law, Sinclair, said that he is aware of instances in which persons taking their firearms in compliance with annual registration requirements and their permits are held by the FLA on the basis that they are subject to investigation. However, he said that individuals are not told specifically the reason why their licenses have been withheld. When the person is submitting their application for a review, they are operating in a blind fashion. They don't have any understanding why it is that their firearm has been revoked, said Sinclair while discussing the fit and proper provisions in the new Firearms Act of 2022. And we know that the bill is being reviewed by a joint select committee. So say it's a license for your old assist. And you go for, re you go for renew your thing. Zane, and you go there and them just hold on for your thing. It. Say you're under investigation. Them not tell you what they're investigating, but them not tell you what they're taking for them just take it. You yes, understand? That kind of rough like. So, you know, when, mm -hmm. when you appeal the revocation, Zane, you don't know why you, you appeal blindly, you know, because they don't gain a reason, you know. You understand what I'm mean, saying? That can't work. So I'm continue. Mm -hmm. This term is being used and it has been used against persons in a manner that prejudices them immensely, he said. Now, Minister of Legal and Constitutional Affairs Marlene Malahoufort pointed out that the legislation sets out the criteria for firearm license approval. She argued that the fit and proper requirement has to be considered in the context of the qualifying and disqualifying provisions of the statute. There is an ongoing duty on the authority and the board to be satisfied that the hold of an authorization remains fit for the duration of the authorization. Me get that. But tell me why I'm not fit no more. You understand? It is a purview and, and, and the FLA has the authority to revoke. But tell me why my permit is being revoked. You get to me, I say? So if it's something that I can fix, I, me, I fix it. I can't ask my call out of being malicious, brother, and, and say you do sit in a brother. Mm -hmm. See? So it's it kind of rough. But may I come to one next article to clean off you? Um, yeah, I keep dancing out of the door there. May I set so, up a so, early job? So I'm not tuning up for that, may I say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. However, yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> However, Sinclair said that he was aware of cases in which the FLA had taken persons' firearms for more than three years in inconclusive investigations. He complained that during that time, the property of the individual is being held by the authority because the gun is really yours, you know? the gun is not it's for yours. the FLA. You know? The permit you belongs to the FLA. The FLA is not buying a gun, you know, you understand? Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Chairman of the Committee, Dr. Horace Chang, raised the concern about the backlog of appeals before the review board of the FLA. Chief Executive Officer of the FLA, Shane Darling, told the committee that the agency was now reviewing a backlog of appeals dating back to 2020. It's a lot. They are meeting more often now. They meet twice last week. So they are moving a pace to clear the entire backlog, Darling said. So speaking about Darling, because he was at the, 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 the review in other week. So current revocation provision in, in firearm law is draconian, says Darling. So he's saying it is too excessive, you understand? So Firearm okay. Licensing, Licensing Authority, FLA CEO Shane Darling, told the Joint Select Committee reviewing the bill to update the Firearms Act that the current provisions guiding how the agency deals with certain matters regarding permits were draconian. He made a remark after there was an attempt to clarify the role and powers of the FLA board vis-à-vis -vis its CEO. Now, Opposition Spokesman and National Security, Senator Peter Bunting, seized upon the issue that under Darling's stewardship, the FLA has been operating contrary to the law, particularly in the regards to its decision to suspend some firearm licenses. Darling agreed, saying that the current law was too harsh. The only provision currently in, le in the legislation is draconian, straight revocation. Also, there is no middle ground. Mm, so now, like, then we put it up on probation and say, all right, here we go on. We hear a thing, we are looking to it, but you're up on probation. 
if okay. investigation say X, it look like us and get a report and just revoke. You understand? A joke. Jaja. So there is no cancellation. There is no suspension. So I am saying to you that the current legislation is defective in many cases. And the fix, including the suspension and the cancellation that are in the bill now, are recommendations coming out of the FLA, he responded. Now, Bunting, who along with former National Security Minister Robert Montague, was recently caught up in a firestorm over decisions to grant permits to persons with criminal traces, sought to be, well, he sought to belabor the point about the FLA abusing its authority, but was cut short by a committee chairman, Marlene Malahu Fort. <laughs> Even though there is no such authority in law, Mr. Dalling has invented a power and a suspension and is prosecuting that, Bunting said, before he was interrupted. I believe that there are some grievances and that this may not be the, the appropriate forum, Malahu Ford said. Hmm. Basically, you want to sound like Marlene said, something personal is going between she and Bunting, and Bunting and try to hear it. So, you understand? That is how, that's how I interpret that. You understand? Carl, listen to what she said. She said that I believe that there are some grievances and this and that this may not be the appropriate for me. I said, please don't yeah. please don't interpret anything that I am saying. Bunting, also a former national security minister, responded, Oh, he got tested. Oh. Following a reading of section 36, subsection 1 of the bill, Senator Charles, well, we talk about Charles Sinclair already and this. Yeah. So um them are going to them thing, and it may it only makes sense. It can be a situation where a complaint is filed against you and immediately it's revocation. See, if there's an investigation process going on, then you put me upon probation or you suspend probation. or you suspend my permit then. Not just straight out revocation. So you understand what I mean? Because the truth yeah. is that we live in a society where you have some very malicious people. Correct. And some people were just different rasta. So I could see. But the gun thing here, you see the lights of fire thing as we say. It probably is more trouble. It, it's more. <laughs> it's more trouble that you need sometimes in your some, life. Um, problematic. It, 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 it won't seem so. You understand? By the way, teacher, I watch the committee live and listening. Bunting irritates me. I don't think he Bunting has no authority to say anything. Well, he is the opposition spokesperson for security, so I guess he have the authority. That's so you understand. When we get to answer final, I understand exactly what you say. You see? Do I people what? Do uh, what the like button do now that me I say if they are going like say Scotty dog do up on the like button yeah sir you give me dog sir no me not give you me not give you man you know man <laughs> you know like say I mean I forget you don't know about me no no sir me give you money you know money me give you house you know house <laughs> <laughs> so all be happy involved with your dog thing eh so it is interesting watching these these discussions about the firearms act and all of these things. So we we'll watch and see. You see me? Mm. Hold on there. Ellie London. Girl, what's going on, man? I haven't seen you since Wapi killed Philip, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and Wapi killed Philip before I bought you. Yes, sir. Because I born going here, so Wapi killed Philip. I want Wapi and Philip did that, by the way. Yeah, no, I forgot to find him. That boy, Wappy. He said, Maybe we're going to fight over land. <laughs> so, what you think, you know, sis? It's yeah. good to see you, sis. Uh, hope all is well. House approves minimum wage orders. Okay. Eh. Yeah. Where are they now? Nine grand? Yeah, I think that's it. Where are you pre that's up there? I think so. Nine grand kind of small. Kind of small. Which is true. Yeah, man. But then, small. Yeah, if you think for the next, the flip side, I think, you know, brother. Mm -hmm. Remember, say, I think I can sit away for a long time, you know, so the company has to make money for your pay. You understand what I say? Mm -hmm. So while it is small, there, I am giving employers some consideration as well. Mm -hmm. Considering all things that has taken place in the recent few um, recent past. Time. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, you have employers out there who are more than able to pay more than nine. You understand? And, and that's what I would hope that the, the human in us would come to play. We don't got that. Um, where, where if you can afford to pay more than the, the $9,000, you pay it. Like, 
Sir, nine thousand dollars really and truly can buy you nothing much. Especially in the supermarket. Me can't can nine thousand dollars supermarket and come back and then me you know, get put out. Mm -hmm. But me go supermarket, me tell the lady I put the important things to be cashed first and tell her how much money me have. Oh. And anywhere it's up, stop right this. So I'm saying anywhere my guy pop. Yeah, you don't know nothing about me. So once you reach that number, stop it right there, sir. Mm. So in truth and in fact, sir, nine thousand dollars really. May I know? A little bit, man. A little yeah, bit, brother. Mm. David McLeod, big up yourself in the family. We appreciate the support. You know what I mean? It's rough, but as me I said, you still there. Are, there are there are employers out there who can more than pay more than that. Conversely, though, on the flip side of that, there are some who are struggling to pay the night. Hey. But I could continue to answer. And you see, these are the things that says in, in a real, I mean, I always say that these things, despite the fact that our thing is not the way we don't want it for the yet, we, I want me out of focus. So. We still have to give thanks. You understand? Because man, I get $9,000 a week, brother. You Before you came back, I was, I was saying to them that, you know, grateful that, you know, the people could have let me build them. And a good day, you and I were barely nine thousand mm. dollars. So we still have to give thanks, guys. You're rough. You see? No, two orders that will increase the national minimum wage and the minimum wage for industrial security guards were approved by the House of Representatives on Tuesday, piloted by, piloted by the Labour and Social Security Minister Carl Samuda. They are the national minimum wage amendment order of 2022 and the Minimum Wage Industrial Security Guards Amendment Order of 2022. So the proposed increase are to become effective on Scottie's birthday, April 1, 2022. <laughs> to this end, the national minimum wage will be increased from $7,000 to $9,000 per 40-hour work week and from $175 to $225 per hour. $175 per hour. One hundred and seventy-five dollar per hour, sis. Don't that rough in a real life? <laughs> My birthday too. Day me and Lee alive. Me and tell her, and and April one she born. I just me and tell her she born for time full day. Yes, but I know this she born somewhere in April, but I know her first. <laughs> but happy birthday when it come, bro. Big up to all of the April one people there. You understand? Me hear some things, me not sure still, but big up for the same. <laughs> Yeah, what? Um, why? $175. Oh, so you work 10 hours for your day, brother. $1,700 for your day, no? I'm very small. $1,750. So the minimum wage for industrial security guards will move from $9,700 to $10,500 per 40 hour work week, or from $242.50. Then we could eat, where is that 50 cent that come from in the last one? From $242.50 to $262.50. What are wicked people there? Security guys would also benefit from increases in laundry allowance, which will move from $44 to $47.62 per hour. And firearm premium allowance, which will go up from $48 to $51.95. That are the one the security guy that we carry guns. The dog handlers' premium allowance will be increased from $33 to $35.72 per hour, while life insurance with double indemnity protection and, dism and dismemberment coverage will also increase from $2.75 million to $2.97 million. Well, basically $3 million. Dirty mm. tough, you know? Some would have said the new... Samuda said the new rates resulted from recommendations from the National Minimum Wage Commission, which were submitted to the ministry following public consultations. Additionally, Samuda noted that several factors were taken into consideration in arriving at the revised rate. Yeah? Hmm. These include the current state of the Jamaican economy and then can't take inflation into consideration, especially in light of the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. Employ and this is what I was making reference to this. Employers' ability to pay, because that, that is a thing, to, you know. That is a factor you have taken into consideration also. Yeah, man, that is a thing too, man. Because I say, you can't pay what you can't pay still, you know. 
and the continuing increase in the prices of food and fuel, the costs of utilities and transportation, the rate of inflation, and the progress of the government's economic recovery program. It's rough. That is 53 US dollars a month. As, um, come to mind. And to moat. As we get the money, it done. Good night, Mrs. Reed. And we feel like it's one ten I go come. As me get the money, mm. he done. No remember your bro, me soon send the link. Me soon send the link. Me soon send the link. Mm. Why some politicians around here should be charged with treason for betraying the Jamaican people? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I'm there, Jay. I always throw me out. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but is that serious? Is that, um, good night, Mrs. Reed. How are you? It is It is a thing, though, Scotty, because our man, we have same man to you to go to school. He have an yeah. empress. He have an empress in the house. Life will pay, water will pay. He does not live at work, so he have to take transportation and go to work. Mm -hmm. He can't cook at people in the workplace, so he have to buy lunch. Okay. I, I am known of persons who say um, at the end of the month they have to decide which babies get paid and which don't get paid this month. Yeah, I've spoken to yeah man, I've spoken to parents who say if yeah, some months they just have to decide which bill you are going to pay and which bill is going to be put down till further the month. Because the money just not to balance all of them. Because as I said, when you take all of those things into consideration, and that's what you're getting per week, and you get paid fortnight more than likely, it really and truly hard to balance all of them. Pay the bills, have food in the house, send the kids to school, um, and be able to go to work for the following weeks. It's a job mean situation. Why well, not it tough? But as you say, it's, it's two sides because on one side we are saying yes, it's small, but on the other side is that can the employers pay more? Some can. Some. I agree with you. And I would hope that those who can do. Mm. Like you. <laughs> Tell the people I'm saying one day you met you met more than many more. No, 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 no. I saw a live out here. I am paying. No, 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 no. You know what we can do? I saw some people that come to life on their bar sometimes. That's what I think. Everything good. Everything good. Everything good. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Give thanks, give thanks. But boy, rough. And and this is this kind of pushed me back to the, the conversation that we have been having with the COVID situation the restrictions mm -hmm. i know you are of the view that you know we probably still shouldn't all out look longer and thing i may as a sis but there are some people who are struggling you know, man struggling you know, struggle struggle so while me and you probably can't find a way to survive and make ends meet there are some people who are no ends and no meat i agree with you and nothing to eat and one night to go find nothing you know, i go right here be the man you're there I mean, I say, you make a tune out of it, you know. Boss is a friend. <laughs> yeah, you're rough, you're rough, you're rough, you're rough. But, why teach them look fully rich and alive, yes? But you don't know about that, you know, brother. It's just a hard work in you to make it pay for me hard work, yeah. So put it away there. <laughs> you don't know about the rich things still. But, I claim it, I claim it. I claim it. I mm -hmm. claim it. Because I say, I don't smell the pit, too. You yeah, understand? I don't hatch my hatch. You know that chick. All right. So former Haitian senator to be extradited to the U.S. And good night and to the I'm people. Here? No. Good night to the people. Them. Can I remember extradition not just overnight. You know, unless he waive his right to an extradition hearing. Okay. But if he decides to fight, it can take a while. You understand? Mm -hmm. think, but he was seeking asylum. But them saying in our game. They his, gave it to his No. They are, wife, the application is still. Um, okay under review and things so former haitian senator joseph joel well jo 
John Joel Joseph. How we write that article, yeah, man? <laughs> you want to tell about it? <laughs> John Joel Joseph. Then put the man in a, yo, I saw them write it down. Joseph Joel John, the man named John Joel Joseph. You know what <laughs> a, a person of interest in the assassination of Haitian President Jovenel Moise has consented to be extradited to the US. So I'm saying we go. You understand? The extradition application was brought before the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court on Thursday by Senior Deputy Director of Prosecutions, Jeremy Taylor. I'm a parlor right hand man. You understand? Next thing come on, read. Okay. Eh. Your Honor, this is the matter of the request for extradition of, jo of, of John Joel Joseph, <laughs> a citizen of 80 to the United States. Taylor said, adding that a provisional warrant of arrest was issued for him on Tuesday by virtue of the extradition treaty between the U.S. and Jamaica. He also notes that under this treaty, the U.S. has 60 days to provide evidence of the supposed crime. So they have to do that thing, and they can't just say they want him, you know. So they have to submit evidence, and a judge will... Well, I do a video about the extradition process one time, I'm going to go watch it. I'm going to watch it. No, for honestly, I don't know, 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 before signing the written content, John expressed his concerns about leaving his family behind. However, through an interpreter, it was explained that he will not be sent to the U.S. immediately. Now, senior parish judge Lorian Montague Cole advised John to prepare himself to be extradited after the written consent was handed to her. She also said she can appreciate a man having a concern about leaving his wife and children. After the situation was explained to her in detail, John's wife was observed with an asthma inhaler in hand and hyperventilating, then she must have ball. John, his wife, and two children were arrested in Southeast St. Elizabeth on January 20. His family have since applied for asylum in Jamaica through the Passport Immigration and Citizenship, Citizenship Agency, PICA. The application pending response from the Permanent Secretary's Office in the Ministry of National Security. It was revealed, though, that the Permanent Secretary is not in the country. So that's one of the things where I hold up that. Okay. Meanwhile, Cole Montague commended the police officers for their care of John's seven-year-old son, who was seen sleeping on the laps of the officers. The JCF has some good aunts and uncles, Montague Cole said, noting that there is still kindness in the justice system. There is that. There is a good cops, bad cops, cops where people have cops by broke shop, and cops where have gang and names. But I soon come to those ones, you know. Me I want about that tonight. <laughs> yeah, son? So the family is to return to court on April 5th, for the decision regarding refugee status and the permanent secretary from the permanent secretary's office and them something 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 there. You understand? Mm. Voice so nice in my headphone, you fat. Every night you talk said it that. Talk it no, every night. I don't talk, talk, talk it through. Oh, my voice so. You said that for the last can, three to can, four can, nights. Can, can you hear me now? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, we have spoken many times ad nauseum. <laughs> about Lower. the bail situation in the country and many times we have the opinion that some man are on bail shouldn't be on a bail Zane mm -hmm. and it has also been documented innumerable times where men out on bail have been arrested again after the commission of another crime and sometimes a crime that is even more serious than the one when they get locked up for before. before. You understand? Because that is how many witnesses die, you know. Because if a man gets arrested and charged, and he knows that you come and court come testify against him, then ain't a problem, you know. You understand? So, them look at things. Ellie, thanks for the contribution. I am most appreciative. Big up yourself. So now, understanding the issue of bail. So this is a story, an, an article where a lawyer was responding to a question from a woman. But in it, it gave insight into the whole bail situation. Because, you know, cut and dry, you know. You understand? So I thought it was something, seeing that we have spoken about the bail situation so many times, it was something that was worth sharing. So it says, understanding the issue of bail. So this is the situation. The police took my son in custody. And when I went to the station, the police officer on duty informed me that they are not giving him bail. The officer said that he would need the approval from his inspector. Can the officer in charge of the case give him bail? And what would I need to bail him? See? So the person may respond, no, I understand your frust frustration. The, the truth is there has been some debate about the inconsistencies around the subject of bail in recent times. I think, well, I think part of the reason for this is due to the fact that the granting of bail is highly discretionary. 
and is determined on a case-by-case -case basis. You see the maths? It is difficult mm -hmm. to answer why in this particular case the officer is refusing to offer bail. However, I will try to explain the law in relation to bail and also the requirements. It is important to note that every citizen of Jamaica has a fundamental right to freedom and is presumed innocent until proven guilty. This fundamental right has been enshrined in our Charter of Rights, the Constitution. Now, Section 14, Subsection 4 of the Charter states, Any person awaiting trial and detained in custody shall be entitled to bail on reasonable conditions unless sufficient cause is shown for keeping him in custody. So I go on this, So yeah. every man have a right to bail, basically. From police yeah. lock you up and charge you, have a right. That, that is what the Constitution provides you, even though we don't like it. See? Although, in some instances, although the Constitution gives everyone a right to freedom and the presumption of innocence, the Bail Act is a piece of legislation that governs bail in Jamaica. Section 25 of the Act states that the officer or sub-officer in charge of the police station or a lockup shall grant a bail to that person in accordance with the Bail Act, unless the person has been taken into custody on a charge of murder, treason, or treason felony. So those are the three things where a police officer at a station, in charge of the station, can grant a bail for. Only a judge can grant a bail for murder and treason and then something. But we want a case of rape. That shouldn't be a judge only. Attempted murder, shooting, them sitting there shouldn't be judge only. You see what I say? But all right. This means that unless someone is charged for any of the aforementioned offences, then they can be admitted to bail by a police officer. Only a judge can grant bail in instances where a person has been taken into custody on a charge of murder, treason, or treason felony, as I said before. Now, the Bail Act also states that, well, the Bail Act also states the circumstances in which bail may be denied to a person with an offence that is punishable with imprisonment imprisonment and place the onus on the prosecution to satisfy the court as to why the bail should be denied to the accused. So if you go to court, sis, then the prosecution have to tell the court why you're not going to get bail. If they can't do that, the judge will go bail. Yeah, bail. Generally. Bail. Well, generally. Crimes committed against children should be attached to this list. I totally agree. Christopher Daly, what are going on? It's good to see you. And um, Christopher, as I said, that I know for a fact that a new bail act was tabled in front of parliament recently. Well, I think it was tabled. I know it should be tabled. Well, they might talk about it. I think it was tabled though. So they, they are amending or seeking amendments to the existing bail act because it kind of loose in some regards. So I could, I could continue. All right, shall we there? Whilst it is settled that an accused has a right to bail, unless the prosecution presents good reason as to why the accused should not be offered bail. The confusion to many may stem from the wide latitude of discretion afforded to those who apply it. It must be noted as well that bail is quite subjective and must be determined on a case-by-case -case basis. Another aspect of the bail that causes confusion is that there are no set requirements, which sometimes vary from police station to police station, as well as from court to court. For instance, if you are arrested, you may be granted bail on your own um, recognizance. That means you are known by the officer and can be trusted to appear in court. <laughs> if, the <laughs> if, <laughs> if the officer is not if the officer is not minded to grant you your own bail, then someone can agree to sign for you as a surety which means that they will be liable for the bail amount in the event that you abscond. Imagine you have bail is for 10 mil. No, I didn't. Okay. So, so you have to know your friends, you, know, you have to make them talk. Mm -hmm. These, of course, <laughs> are the discretion of the police officer. Oh, me then bail for that if I have it. Trying to get you seven and a problem for 10 million dollars because you know you're going to stay there. Maybe cook and carry your lunch, come give you and put money for and no, that's only about big prison. But not get none of problem with 10 million dollars for the day. What me have you use? It's good to know your friends. You understand? Go on to the land where you have a country, go on to the title. We are telling before. <laughs> not the money for the. If one is granted bail in their own surety, then all that is required by the police is proof of identification. If bail is offered in the sum of $50,000 or less, 
then the surety only need to present proof of identification as well as complete the requisite bail forms. If bail is offered in a sum greater than $50,000, the general requirements are one passport size picture signed by a JP, a valid form of identification, two letters of recommendation from reputable persons such as a justice of the peace, collateral, which can be in the form of cash, motor vehicle title, land title without caveat, proof of address, and a recent utility bill. Mm. So Ode, the, 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 the person who wrote the article, who contributed, is Odin Marston. He's an attorney at law who specializes in conveyancing, administration, probate, recovery of position, criminal litigation, and divorce. And thing. Um, so the article is for general information purposes only and does not constitute legal advice. <coughs> and thing. So, yeah. So the it be a thing kind of it be kind of confusing in many regards. So I was happy that I came across this article, and for the persons who are wondering, it was published in the Glean, I think. So and the title is um, "Understanding the ba Understanding the Issue of Bail." So if you can read it and get more understanding from it than I was able to share just now, you probably need to do so because. Many times we have had conversation about the bail act, and the truth is that we don't know the details and the technicalities within the bail act. We just know that someone not forget bail. You get what I say? What you think about it? For? Every someone not forget now, bail. That is true, but then again, you know, with us saying that some people not forget bail, we are coming off emotions as as it relates to the act that they call. Which is true. Which is true. I can't deny that. But even so, some man forget bail. Hey, may I, may I, sh may I share one story with you and ask if that man don't forget bail? Don't move. No, if I have a share with me, I'm sure I'm not Hold on. See, see storage up right in our lap here. Relief in Durham Gap after suspect's capture. Now, residents of Dur um, Durham Gap breathe a collective sigh of relief, Portland, on Thursday after news spread that the police had captured Davian Bryan. The man oh, labelled as a parish is most wanted and the suspect in last October's abduction of two girls in neighbouring St. Thomas and at least one attack in Portland this year. If you get the hell? No, Come skip out of your emotions, night. man. <laughs> Police reported that Brian was captured Wednesday night in a joint search they conducted with residents in Durham. We were fearful and nervous. One main resident who declined to be named said on Thursday, My, wa my wife sharpened her machete and walked with it. When we heard the police capture him last night, we were happy. And this morning, we feel so relieved. The place was very tense, man. The place free up now. Him there from December, and they might keep him and I feed him. Good work the police them do. We're free. This is a good community. A quiet one. Peaceful. Pe well, peaceful people and loving. And thing, and thing, and thing. And I'll get in a So them, them capture your brother. Yeah, so I remember we were talking about the case situation last week. He mm -hmm. is believed to have been the person responsible for that. Plus another case where a female was dragged into bushes and her head bashed with a stone and all of these things. And then some, 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 some. So apparently he was being fed on these things by reports. Somebody said, got the grand team record? Eh, there's, there's words in the street that is in his sister. I have not seen anything official, so I will not. You understand? Mm. That's me even I get the view, view that she has spoken publicly about why she would do it. And I also see where people people um have been saying that is our sister, is it is our is our brother and, 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 and she have a right, so I d I don't you know there's no situation where everybody will be on the same wavelength and have the same point and thing. Um mm. Come on, Mr. Teach and Sis. Blessings in a blessings in a family. Well, go on. Big up yourself, you know. Man has my respect. Mm. But, but but anybody who had him, why not take him in? I don't know. But if I did my I brother broke him. your ass and can guy station. Carry him in. So, but as me I said, I have not seen anything official. You know, social media is social media. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I cannot really and truly delve into that because I really don't know. You understand? No. <laughs> Man facing charges after creating public mischief following bomb hoaxes. Not bomb hoaxes, you know, bomb hoaxes. 
The Jamaica Constabulary Force, you assume so why I laugh, don't move. The Jamaica Constabulary Force, GSF, has arrested and will charge the man they believe is behind several bomb threats. Bomb threat hoax in Moby, St. James. Now, head of the Air One Police Assistant Commissioner Clifford Chambers say the police use technology to track down the source of the threats. The man is facing several charges, including creating public mischief and breaches of the Cyber Crimes Act. On three separate days this week, not one enough. Not two in them. Well, I guess we'll find out. Don't move. Three separate days this week, the Sajikor complex in St. James was evacuated following a bomb threat. Ordinance disposal teams from the JSF and Jamaica Defense Force were called to the location on each, each occasion. Each threat turned out to be false. It is understood that, well, it is understood the disruption cost the businesses in the area millions of dollars. Of course. If you have to lock down your business three days for your premises evacuate, then, then what do you mean? Watch out now. ACP Chamber says the male in question was in an intimate relationship with a woman who works in one of the business establishments on the complex. Ha <laughs> ha! I'll put your settings. Hold on, watch the watch match, sir. So, um, yeah, that's again. So, uh, for Hold three on, days, where, where, um, where, 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 where uh, a business complex, the Sajikor oh, Business no, no, Complex. Uh, so, yeah. um, yeah, that's again. Yeah, so, um, for three days, um, uh, a business complex, Sajikor Business Complex, uh, a business entity that operates there, a pharmacy, has been in receipt of hoax call from a male caller. Um, as a result of that, it put tremendous strain on all the entities that operate in that complex. Persons have to be evacuated. And um, the JCF and the military does its ordinary ordinance team and sweep. But what happened is that the matter was investigated. And as a result of the investigation with technology, I will send by the man in charge, a male caller who um, will now be facing the court. Incidentally, the caller was in an intimate relationship with a female who worked at an entity at that location. So he's now facing charges of public mischief with other charges on the cybercrime legislation to be followed. Me? Mm -hmm. hey man, call the and tell him so. I'm already hosting, boy. Shit. Turn off that. And I turn off the wrong thing. Three different times. Mm hmm. So I never figure so they won't catch you. You know, look so. Okay. Eh. Hey. Yeah, so I don't know how many women have. Mm. <laughs> the boss decides I'm going to mash up work. <laughs> Yo, I would have beat it now, I tell you. They give me a long, 15 minutes, man. F just 15, yes, and I phone when you was calling me, I was busting fire with it. <laughs> <See? laughs> <laughs> imagine, yeah. imagine you operate, imagine you operate a business from that plaza, Scotty British. See? And three days in a row, you have to lock down your business, brother. Because this man and yep. this woman have a problem. Give me a phone, but I will be like, <laughs> Yo, <laughs> no, you know, say, uh, in the video, I'm there, please. It's a video, you know, but I don't know when I pop up on screen. It's a video, man. A bike. I, I don't know, I don't know, I'm going to bike the right pass, man. I know, yeah. Yeah, so, so I, don't, I don't mean this time. <laughs> eh. So, they say my face on all the bad things, yeah, sir. Canadian clerk held allegedly with cocaine at the Kingston Airport charge. So, the Canadian woman who was held allegedly with one kilogram of cocaine at the Norman Manly International Airport in Kingston on Wednesday, has now been charged. Nika Salazar Johnson, big old married woman, a 26-year-old, a supermarket clerk mm. of, of Hamilton in Canada, has been charged with breaches of the Dangerous Drugs Act, Ontario, Ontario. She is scheduled to appear before the corporate area parish court on Thursday, March 31st, so it is reported that about 10 a.m., Salazar Johnson attempted to board a flight destined to Toronto, Canada. During a routine check of her luggage, the cocaine was allegedly found in her possession. She was subsequently taken into custody. Now, after being interviewed by detectives in the presence of her attorney, she was charged with possession, dealing in, attempting to export, and conspiracy to export cocaine. That's a lot of charges. The illicit drug, which was well, which weighs 1.5 kilograms, has an estimated street value of approximately 11.2 million dollars. 
Mm. That can buy me half of one nice house, you know. Half of one nice house, wow. How many houses you want? No nice house now sell for less than 15 mil, sis. Okay. You understand? If you're really nice, you have to pay 20 mil up. Unless you have a country. See, unless you're lucky. Like you. No, no, that far. That's too far. That is not going to choose. Did you sell internet and reach up the sun? Then by the time you drive up the sun. Did you sell up there? Did you sell service? No, did you sell play? You understand? And then by the time you drive up the sun, you have to the man. By the time you drive from the saga, I want to interview you, I want to sleep. And by the time you drive from the interview, I want to sleep. That makes sense. You understand? Alright, bro. Alright. Portland man charged with sexually assaulting child, remanded. Him not forget no bail? No. Okay, then you have to tell me about emotion. Go on, man. The Portland <laughs> radiate. <laughs> The Portland Radiator Repairman charged with the sexual assault of a seven-year-old girl has been remanded and ordered to return to the parish court in Brands Bay on March 29th. First, we about Brands Bay. We are Brands Bay. Rose, which part of Portland Brands Bay? Eh? Never hear about Brands Bay. We know about Rosa Bay. Eh? The man is charged with having sexual intercourse with a person under the age of 16. Investigators say the child was left in his care by her mother, who had to attend to an emergency judge. On her return, she learned that the child had been sexually assaulted. The accused was a neighbor of the mother and, and her daughter. He was held by the police as he sought to flee the community. So the man was remanded during his, during his first court appearance on January 25th, where an order was issued for his fingerprint to be taken. The accused sought bail on three occasions, on which he faced the judge. He has not been granted bail. Judge, big up yourself. <laughs> I said Shandy Dandy in the stream earlier. Shandy! Well, on there. Yeah. Mr. She's still there. Shandy. Yeah, man. I don't know. I can't find one if you don't know. Shandy! What's going on? All is well? How's the little one? May I talk about the business? Yeah, son. <laughs> Hope all is well with you and the family. Mm. Farmer dead. Teen injured in St. Thomas shooting. A a farmer, a farmer, <laughs> <laughs> a farmer was killed. That's why I always I say, oh, shady there. We, let me tell you, we see people. I say, oh, oh, teach them should be on TV reading. Did you want to go on? <laughs> want to know when me I try to find someone for the much time I find someone that now on the boat boss. Want to have me on the TV? A farmer was killed. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> they don't laugh after me. I make me more than me. No, 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 no. Come on, you know. I know. Oh, down by Bonbrook side. Oh, okay, okay. Thanks. Top marks, Brian's Bay, okay. I'm not going to see about it, just register, you know. Okay. Bond Brookside, I need to shine aside this one. Mm -hmm. mm. So a farmer was killed and a teenager injured after an alleged gun attack in the community of Top Hill, St. Thomas, on Tuesday night. The deceased has been identified as Rupert Francis. He is said to be in his early 50s. And he will kill me now, sis. Yes, normally, when I have voice over for the videos, I never used to use my headphone. Zane? I just said, no, yeah, your voice, you, know, you, you want this one a particular. Readjusting is the hardest thing. You understand? But it's the right thing to do. So, I work for you. I want to tell you about what I said, but go read news on TV. You know, I fool. Look here. I know my weaknesses and strengths. You, know. you understand? Think me I'm going to trick me and kill me in a show. You know, mad, mad. <laughs> so, now the deceased has been identified as Rupert Francis. He's, he's said to be in his early 50s. T.J. Bonbrook, Brian's Bay. Okay, okay. Details of the incident are sketchy, but reports are that residents heard a barrage of gunshots coming from a section of the community about 8.30 p.m. When the shooting subsided, Francis and the teen were found suffering from gunshot wounds. So both were assisted to the hospital where Francis was pronounced dead and the teen admitted for treatment. Judge, okay, Rosie. Now, sir, we know exactly how we're man. We know exactly how we're Hmm. And these things. Sir David, how are your eyes, Scotty? How are you doing? What am I doing? I see your eyes, money. Oh, oh, a comment. I'm not in my eye, they comment my eye. Oh, okay. My eye? Mm. No, I'm not. I'm not in my okay. head. Was hell for review. I got a comment. I got a comment. He mm. should have been turned in from a long time if they knew. 
where he was. No, I don't think the general public knew where he was enough from. I think people are suggesting that his family members knew, some of his family members. So I don't know. You know the family thing go? Uh, in a Jamaica, uh, Black Road, Quick and Ball for Justice and run through the right thing. When I do it, I don't know. Clarin, uh, this a case I'm going to say now, if this a man forget bail. Clarin, that man charged abduction and buggery of 12-year-old girl. This is the third time we're speaking about this case. The first week we talk about it is when we heard that the child was abducted and, and raped and then released. And then the next one we hear said, them arrest him. Right. Then last okay. week he was arrested. Then now them charge him. A 43-year-old big man, you know? A 43-year-old Clarendon man has been charged with the forcible abduction and buggery of a 12-year-old girl. He is Marlon Mills, an unemployed resident of racetrack in the parish. Now, police said the 12-year-old and a relative were on their way home when Mills reportedly offered them a ride, a long time more planning. It is reported mm -hmm. that when the child and their relative reached their destination, Mills ordered the relative out of the vehicle and drove off with the 12-year-old. The child was not seen again until the following day when she was released in a nearby district. Relatives, upon questioning her, reported the matter to the police. Following investigations, Mills was picked up by the police. He was pointed out during a subsequent identification parade and later slapped across his face. Unfortunately, not slapped with charges. Yes, yeah, sir. Mm -hmm. You yeah, see them something, sis? What I mean, I tell you, though. Mm -hmm. Parents. And, and I know many parents out there plead and beat it in them youth's head, say, don't take no drive from nobody. You understand? And boy, you would say, boy, I'm going to know. Jaja. So the man kidnapped a little girl, sodomized her, and released her, and things that all was going to be well. The internet a move shaky. I like him, I like him better. Like, they show sure something doing. Not not doing, you know? Nothing do him. Except same as a dirty man. Nothing don't do him. You yeah, understand? It's good as all a man enough people in the community I look up to and respect. Yeah. Sure. Hmm. Well, I'm no. glad he was caught. Hmm. I remember once, you see, there was a song, a particular song going around. That went viral. Vi I said mm -hmm. viral. And or something goes viral is because it's consumed at a rapid rate, especially over a short period of time. Mm -hmm. Song trend and all of these things. Go and song when I'm gathering. <laughs> and I sat down you know, and I said a couple of times that this is where we are, you know, we are glorified these things, you know, bruh. And so said, so done, we saw where a gathering resulted in the death of a student and another child is now in custody. Christopher, you're probably right. I hope you're wrong, but you're probably right. You know what I'm I really hope you're wrong, but you're probably right. Tamu, good night. How you doing? Not not doing this. Not a thing, don't do it. You know what I'm mm -hmm. Stolen gathering behind the schoolboy's murder. Eh? So the acting principal at the Trelawney base, William Neighbor High School, has reported that a fuss over a gathering was behind the murder of a great ten student at the school last week. Well, this week. Mm -hmm. Gatherings are often used by wrongdoers who believe they can protect them from their enemies as well as police detection. Kamal Hall, the murdered student, was reportedly accused by one of his classmates of stealing his friend's gathering. So I'm going to read it again, sis. I'm here, stop your eyes. I'm here in my, in my, in my head for <laughs> Kamal Hall, the murdered student, was reportedly accused by one of his classmates of stealing his friend's I'm gathering. So the youth don't mm -hmm. do the killing, you know. It's not for him gathering it's that stolen. It's not stolen. Him being, no. Correct. So you are going to spend a long stretch of your life in prison, in prison because of your because. friend guard ring. Correct. A guard ring that not supposed to yeah, have it because apparently they have been seizing them for a while at the school. Because That's the principal when she was pictured had a number of them in front yeah, of her man. on a desk.
<laughs> Audrey Steele, well, so the well, uh, so when me, when me leave, so Audrey Steele, the acting principal at William Nib, said the wearing of gatherings by students has become a serious challenge. Many of these students are wearing these rings, and we have quite a number of them that we have confiscated over time. I don't know what value they have placed on these rings, but we are constantly taking them away. Really? Steele said. Next thing I hear, so one teacher I try to take one. As a matter of fact, oh, I'm just going to read that. Next thing I try, yes, yeah, yes, so one teacher I try to confiscate one of them rings, and a teacher, boy, I mean, I yo, you know what? Huh? And I put certain things out there you now. Some mm -hmm. of these rings bear emblems of skulls and crosses. I really crosses. Among the items confiscated by the school were two knives taken from the two student from two students who were who have since been suspended. No, this is another article about the same situation. It provides a little bit more detail. And it says bloodshed over gathering. See, William Nib High Admin worried about growing a cult obsession as boys killed. As boy killed in school fight. Now a school administrator sounded the alarm about children's growing obsession with occult practices in the wake of a deadly fight between students over a gathering. Now the principal of William Nib um, said, uh, let me read it, let me read it, I mean I want to go down. Steele, the acting principal of William Nib in Chilani said the Western Jamaican school was reeling from the stabbing death of 16-year-old Kamal Hall on Monday. Steele said also that educators faced another troubling trend. The smuggling of weapons past security checkpoints. A lapse that has a lapse that the accused student reportedly confessed to having exploited to slip through with a knife that was used to stab Kamal. Eh? Hmm. A 10th grader. Well, so apparently he was stabbed in the back. So, so the knife that he used to stab Kamal, a 10th grader in the back around 11. 05 on Monday. So the weapon was reportedly hidden in his shoes. Mm -hmm. hmm. The school community is shocked, said Steele, because both boys were reportedly well behaved. Many of these students are, we are wearing these rings, and we have quite a number of them that we have confiscated over time. So I, I, I read that already. No. The more you confiscate them, is the more they come, she added, while displaying. A number of confiscated knives and gatherings. Some are done with skulls and crosses. Mm -hmm. And them something there. Now, following Monday's violence, classes at William Nib were suspended for the remainder of the day. And the acting principal said that the board was scheduled to meet on them. Uh -huh. Now, reports are that students were on a short break when the now detained student approached Kamal. Kamal. And Kamal is the goalkeeper of the Dakasta Cup team and accused him of stealing a gathering from a friend. It is further reported that Kamal used a length of bamboo to strike the boy, who allegedly retaliated by stabbing Kamal. So the 16-year-old was rushed to the Falmouth Hospital where he was pronounced dead, and the accused, whose name has not been released because he's a minor, is in the custody of the police. So the bloodshed came hours after Senior Superintendent Christopher Phillips, commander for the St. Catherine South Police Division, forewarned of, of a school crisis with many at risk youths tainted by gang and antisocial associations returning to full-scale face-to-face classes. We have seen where it has already started in some parishes, and I am predicting that we are going to have hell, I have said this already, for at least another year, with these children returning to face-to-face -face classes, Philip said. In addition to going after the seasoned gang members, we have to look out for the at-risk youngsters who would have interacted with them. Some probably got involved whether as lookouts or were used as pawns in extortion rackets. Now, a senior cop at the Chilani Police Division has expressed concern about the tentacles of organized crime in schools, sharing that several students have been flagged as perpetrators of the lottery scam. That scheme, which mushroomed in Jamaica almost 20 years ago, target, well, we know all of that, and them something there. Our investigations have revealed that a number of these students are active in the lottery scamming, and these gatherings are purchased through scamming, the senior cop, who requested anonymity because of the details of the investigations are privileged, said on Monday. These students have been out of school for close to two years, and a number of them are caught up in this illegal practice of making quick money, which they use to purchase these rings, which are very expensive. Some gatherings cost between $100,000 to $150,000. Those developments are cause for concerns for William Nibai School Board Chairman Robert um, Reverend Jonathan Hemmings, who described the incident as very tragic. We would want to sp 
we would want to spare a thought for both families. Yeah. It is, a it is a devastation for the school, so much that for emotional health, we have to close the school for the rest of the afternoon. And them, so, so that was a day of speaking. And then some, 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 some. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. So many of us were, were helping to make the gathering song go viral and give it acceptance and all of these things. And man, they are party with them gathering a flash and we are share the video and we are laugh and we are comment and a talk about gathered up and get. When I fall. <laughs> yeah, son. Mm -hmm. And so the youth them take it yes, on. Eh? Sir David, you know, listen, bro. The police officer yes, said that many of these children have been have gotten caught up in lottery scamming. And yes. because they are in lottery scamming, they now have the money to purchase these guard rings. These guard rings. Yes, Rosie. What teacher just said? One, one, one hundred and fifty, one hundred and fifty dollars, one hundred and fifty thousand. Yeah, one hundred thousand to one hundred and fifty thousand dollars for these guard rings. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, sir. Um, David. Yeah, man. So many of the youths apparently are involved in lottery scamming, so they are able to finance these purchases. Mm. Man, said, if me guard up. <laughs> <laughs> Answer uh, the question. Sir. Some questions yeah. answer the answer. You have a Kev Guard about in this. Uh, Kev quite alright. You understand? Mm. Brother, I'm mean, not even shave my eyebrow, brother. But just go with the guard ring. You yeah. understand? Yeah, so hey, only thing I put in my hair is uh, uh, shampoo and then sit there. You understand? We don't have a tattoo. We don't, we don't, we don't bleach. We don't, do no, we, don't, we, don't, we have no piercing. So then, I couldn't I live my life that way there for all of my life. And then me go and buy 150000 like guard ring. You know much, you know mm -hmm. much, you know much. I like the one plus expensive, brother. <laughs> uh, August Pampas. Man, stay there, man. Ah. You don't even know what I want about this so. <laughs> You see it. Hey, but it rough, sis. And you also have commented before in recent streams that you have observed where the youths them different. Them be different for a long time, but them different her. <laughs> so then different. No. Right. Sad. <laughs> And the, police the officers have been making said observation that you have been making. And the truth is that whilst the youths were out of school, physical school, many of them got involved caught in up. many things. Yeah, man, yeah, they got son? caught up in a lot of things. Mm. Because even the even you remember the four men that were killed in Central Village recently? Yeah. The sixteen year old boy one of the boy, he's sixteen year old. Is that high school? Yeah, yeah man. And they were saying high that you know, school. since school lock like, face to face, um yeah. um kinda boy, I mean I tell you, where are the parents? Sometimes the parents ain't gonna work, you know, sometimes no, no you know. And, and and the next thing you know, um rock good, rock cody, rock rock goody. Yeah, rock goody. <laughs> See is that sometimes you have some you to come out of some good homes and guy would go farm full thing, you know? And get caught up. You understand? Many times, many enough times, I have, I have seen many instances when Miss Yo, Miss Yo, good and be some deviant ways. And when them parents come, then me I say, then, then me I look on the parent them and me I look on the youth. And then me I say, then, good I wait where break down go on. So it, it rough. But the school thing not done yet, you know, watch your mats. Papin student dies after being shot in Ligani. A Papin high school student has succumbed to gunshot injuries. Well, succumbed to gunshot injuries he received on Ligani Avenue in St. Andrew, I think, on Wednesday. Or Tuesday, I'm not even sure. I think Wednesday. The police say they are probing a case of robbery and murder. And thing. Um, so the grade 10 student, Kenyute Williams, was pronounced, was pounced on by unknown assailants traveling in a motor car. And thing. Um, so let's give you some more details. So a suspect has been arrested for that incident. So the police say they now have a man in custody in connection with the murder of 16-year-old Papin High School student Kenyut Williams. So the 10th grader was killed around 11.30 a.m. while walking to school along Ligony Avenue in St. Andrew. The police believe the killing was motivated by a robbery. Now head of the St. Andrew Central Police Division, Senior Superintendent Marlon Nesbeth, said that the suspect was handed over to the police. Williams, who lives in Jacksonville, usually walked a part of the journey to school. He had his books, cell phone, and $1,000 for lunch money on him at the time of the incident. Apparently, they wanted his cell phone. And even if he had taken the youth's cell phone, 
You don't take, you don't take the phone and go on, brother? I'm gone. So we have a situation now where two 16 year old students are dead and one is in custody. Mm -hmm. I, was, so, I was talking to some of my grade 10 students after this incident. You know, and I was saying to them that you might feel like you want to keep the vice or, you know, resist being robbed. But, you know, some of them just feel to them bad. They're like, give up the device. It's not worth your life. Let it go. As a matter of fact, you give me so quick and ask if you don't know nobody is a man can give it. Just like, because we were having a conversation. I was, we were talking about the recent deaths of the persons who would have recently left our institution, you know, and I was saying to them that um, my years being there, I've been to quite a few funerals, um, whether by accident, death by accident, um, we had a couple of cancers, um, shooting, so it's it's quite a few, so we're just having a little rap session, so, in the media um, class, I just yeah, stopped and we yeah, started having yeah, So um, for three days, um... if somebody at temporary will give it to them, don't stand up there and I go fight. So, um, yeah, that again. Yeah, go so, ahead. um, for three days, um, so, um, yeah, that again. Yeah, go ahead. So, um, for three days, um, uh, a bit. Yeah. All right. Sorry, boy. So, I was yeah. just saying in the comment, Finar saying maybe he was resisting. And I don't know Finar, but I was just having a conversation with my youths. And I said, if somebody at them for you give them. Don't resist. Give them. Because next thing you know, you resist. You get shot. You get stabbed. All these things. Give them. Mm -hmm. You will live to get the next device. You will live to get the next phone, the next computer, the next whatever. I, one of our students were, was robbed recently, maybe about three weeks ago, on his way home. Um, they took his phone and beat him up. So, um, yeah, that's again. Yeah, go ahead. So, um, but... oh, yeah, so, so um, because apparently yeah, that's stop. Yeah, so, um... It doesn't stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we fix it. Hold on, sis. Don't move. Um, the listener, teach. You guys have to remember that school is not a debate. Um, debilitating center. The parents need to do their homework. Rehabilitating, then, maybe that's what the that right, And then send them to school where they will be further assisted. Then I wouldn't think that, brother. If 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 there's any there's person who can tell us, yeah, so you guys, me, you understand? Please don't blame the school. Nobody's blaming the school. Mm -hmm. Never. Nobody's blaming the school, you know. You understand? And thing. Um. Mm. Nobody not blame the school them from. You know, anything just starts with just a talk, you understand? And, and mm -hmm. Scotty and I are both educators, so we'd have seen something first and as well. So we know the thing go. We not just speak wild, you know. This 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 is what we do, you understand? We have been doing this for over a decade. So mm -hmm. and, and as I said here, watching them as they come back in now from this school year break, you see that they're off. They're off, man. <laughs> Yeah, man, if I tell you that I know the solution, I would be lying. Mm. But them off. Hey, Sheena, how are you there? It's good to see you. Pick up yourself. Eh. So, there was also a next school-related incident, you know? Mm -hmm. a... mm -hmm. Yeah, man, hold on. Some, some update on the, uh, the puppy thing. The suspect is actually a 16-year-old, you know? What? Yeah, man. 16 year old suspect held in murder of Papi in high student. So, senior superintendent Stephanie Lindsay, head of the Constabulary's Corporate Communications Unit, says a 16 year old boy has been taken into custody in relation to the murder of the Papi in high student on Wednesday. So, the student, Kenyut Williams, was killed during an attempted robbery of his cellular phone. So, some students are saying Kenyut is 15, some are saying he's 16. I'm not even sure. The suspects are also children. And all because he had a cell phone they wanted, Lindsay said. 
Lindsay also cautioned the individual to put their phones away when walking on the streets as so not to attract unwanted attention. I used to say that at the end of every stream that I did. Mm -hmm. Probably I didn't start saying it again. There are two, well, there are these youngsters out there who are deliberately targeting people because they want to rob them of these cell phones. Lindsay says the police are also seeking another suspect in connection with the matter. So I don't know if that child is also a student of Papine or a student in general, but he's also mm -hmm. 16. But at 16, he should be a student somewhere. When me are 16, I left high school or something like that. Hey. No, when I'm 15, I'm high school. How come? I'm bright. I'm a foolishness. <laughs> <Right. laughs> I'm Then I tell you what, why I tell you, tell you, say, yeah, sir. Because I'm going to tell you what go on. I'm going to go to school for the first time when I'm five, you know. Zane, so yeah, I'm going to spend. Yeah, but I'm worried now, sir. Yeah, man. No, man, I make up, I make up, man. Hold on, man. My mom started with me at five. See, I spent one year at basic school. And we got a primary school, you know. We start out slow, brother. You see it? Slow, 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 slow. You understand? I had a good teacher in grade one, you know. She tried with me. Grade two, I remember grade two. Say, you expect to start fast? Hold yeah, on, hold on. Hold on, no, man. No, man, don't worry about me. I tell you, I hear a story on my story. That's why you can't interview hold me, you know. Hold on, yeah, I'll tell you. Stop it, guys, man. You didn't expect to start fast. So you all go out and tell you a story, brother. I'll have a chat with you. Grade three. Grade three, I remember my grade three teacher calling me a dunce. I'll mm -hmm. never forget that. I don't mean, call oh, her name. No, nah, man, everything good, oh. man. We probably was dunce at the time. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> so, I remember when we reached grade four, no, I think I was in four two. You know, you have four when I bride class, you have four two. And I remember this lady. I don't know. She, I guess she saw something in me. You understand? Mm -hmm. And she took me. Especially when school finished at even time, everybody got home. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. And she spent some time and teach me how to write a little bit and read a little bit and then something, something, something there. Mm -hmm. See, and then after that, the thing start build until maybe come when I write this boy in high school and I play a quiz and then sit in a primary school quiz and them thing. And the thing just start blossom, you understand? And me just get brighter for that. Let me know, you see, <laughs> so, and that go on. <laughs> and that's why I'm yeah, yeah. early, me did bright, and me don't be that. Every time you talk about your school, take me after that. I'm sorry, man. So, I just say, thing go, you understand? So. Yeah, man. Mm. Then I uh, me tell you, so I'm in a grade six. I'm in a captain in the primary oh school um, quiz team. You see? So, eh, I'm not always talking about a teacher there. Well, at school, I sent me around to one part. I'm retreat primary and junior high school, bro. Eh, so, yeah, yeah man. <laughs> I true, when I left high school, I turned 16. I turned 16 here when I left. Yeah, because you're born. So, I left in July and, and I turned 16 in November. Okay. Mm. Right. So that's how I think. So, yeah, I said, my lips. Yeah, go on. I said, it's surprising. It's my little school when I'm 15. You understand? <laughs> yes, I'm in bright. I'm not going to be true. Yes, I'm in bright. I tell you. I yeah, start yeah. late, eh, but I go through the gate. You understand? So, Excelsior, Excelsior High School student hospitalized after being stabbed. Yeah? So, it's a next stabbing, you know? So a grade 11 yeah. student of the Excelsior High School in St. Andrews is now receiving treatment in hospital after being stabbed at the institution. The details could not be immediately ascertained. However, it is understood that the male student was stabbed multiple times. Oh, he was stabbed him. at school? Um, Sir David said, I need to do the same thing. Yeah, bro, you don't even tell me that. I've been doing this over a decade now. You understand? I'm a most loved teacher, you know. You see? Mm. And... The reason why we wanted to become a teacher is to give to our youths them what was given to us, you know? Especially by my high school geography teacher, Mr. Carlington Johnson. Yeah, man. Yeah. Them man, they make me believe in ourselves and, yeah? and thing and, 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 and make me feel like we were something. So we always try down the years to kind of give back to our youths them and wrap with the youths them on the level there. So, yeah, man, that's how mm -hmm. things set up, man. Mm, so, yeah. Um, and thing and thing. So violence reported at five high schools since resumption of face-to-face -face classes. So the Ministry of Education says five high schools have been, well, have reported cases of violence since the resumption of face-to-face -face classes on March 7. Students were stabbed during the incident. So Education Minister Faval Williams says the incidents were reported at Magati, Mushet, William Nib, Papine and Excelsior High Schools. 
This prompted the ministry to meet with school administrators on Friday to discuss strategies to address the problem. So Mrs. Williams urged school administrators to use metal detectors to help confiscate weapons from students. <laughs> Bring me back to a, a, a situation, but we, 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 we talk off here. The education minister recommended that students found with dangerous weapons be referred, to, be referred for counselling. To the extent that our schools are able to take away a knife or scissors or other, implement, uh, or other implements from students, it could save a life. We know that many of our students are coming from homes that are broken, that are toxic. Many of our students are suffering from trauma from the adults in their home. These are adults who should be protecting them, but instead, they are causing them mental harm. And so, we are saying to our schools, it is not enough to simply take away the implement. We must follow up with some counselling as well, she insisted. Fair enough. Mrs. Williams said 36 schools have been approved for metal detectors so far. Well, so far, the equipment has been set up in 27 of these institutions. Yeah. Teach, we have an idea. Why don't you become a schools minister? Uh, what do I mean? I could not learn in my geo class because the teacher did that. Ted. Me did one. So did she. I get that still. Mm. I'm sorry for you that, bro. You, you missed out on a beautiful subject, you know? So instead of heading back to school after two years absent with an eagerness to learn, they come back with a gusto to impart harm on other students. I, 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 I've, said, I've, I've said, you know, Christopher, that it will take a long time to recul um, reculture the students, you know, bro. Teach, one a quick side note. We and one, the first, my father, Mr. Vegas, would be a good matchup. You know, thing. No. No, them man, you know, we and one, the class, brother. No, do that. No disrespect to no man. Nah. For first, you talk about a we and one, the embarrassing man, if you could do it. I mean, it says Sanchez at the time, but as we say, you know, from a creative perspective, you know, Sanchez, many of Sanchez songs are covers and things. But the great, no, no, brother, no, 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 no. Ah, probably pinchers, if anything, but no. But that'll next story for you next time. And dwell upon that. But that's just my view that. Eh, and no disrespect to no man, I just saw it in go. You understand? Mm. All right. We in our section I stream I know where <clears throat> me no love you know. I don't love it. I, I don't yeah, I mean I love it. As a as a matter of fact, when <laughs> me look at Bridging, Dre Blunt, yes, and he's he's a DJ who resides overseas. He do a song recently and thing um let me give him a call. Hold on there. And see when they pan. Me plus Katy plus. All right, that'll work. Oh. Yo, you ready? All right, make sure you have good lighting and your internet good. So just click the link when I send you. And set up what we set up. Why ask if we set up on these things? Yeah, man? <laughs> when you, yeah, man, me ready, man. Then, then you reach in, me ready. Me just go and talk till you reach. Yeah, do that. Yeah. <laughs> right, so he did a song speaking about the violence in the music and how it may be influencing the psyche of the youths. And not just the youths, men in general in the country and women in general in the country. And we just feel like, you know, as an artist who, you know, the thing when enough man has say yo, <coughs> the music not influence the youth, them, it's kind of good and refreshing to see one of the man put up him and say, yo, you know, say, we are part of the problem and this has up here. You see, so I just felt compelled to, you understand, bring him in a little bit and all a reason with him and thing and, and um, then something there. This, the, the song name, Gun in a Song, the song name. Gun in a Song, Geography was my favorite subject. I passed it in CXC, my preference is human geography. I want physical geography or real geography. But big up yourself, big up yourself. Don't say a word. I have come to value my geography lesson since moving to the, U, to the US. May I assume say the US? Mm -hmm. And thing, eh, USA, okay, yeah, man. It's a beautiful subject, man. You understand? Mm, and thing, well, the most beautiful subject, if I may say so mm. myself. You understand? Scotty, me must say, me must say, uh, 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 environmental science, you study, you know, brother, so you can't talk to me, you know, a jail, you know. 
So no matter come mm, both here now. Did I say anything? Yeah, mm, like, 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 like in a circle. You understand? I never said anything. That you know for him, fool. Eh, so watch it. Till Gio figure out his life. Man killed. Another injured. Oh, see me and call ya. See you now. My yo, they know so when I turn phone vertical, brother, we turn phone horizontal, brother. Oh, I'm here, man. Fix it, man. Right. Well, I don't know. I assign it to one place over here, yeah, sir. And, yeah, man. Yeah, you hear me? Yeah, you yeah, hear me? Yeah, man, clearly. Yeah, man, keep your phone steady, man. I think I run here, yeah, run. And try to keep yourself in the screen, sir. Yeah, big up yourself, bro. Walk, walk. <laughs> but then I don't teach them. Walk, walk, walk. Introduce yourself. Introduce yourself to your people, then, man. I saw your granny grow, yo. Yo, you want to go on and do that boy dribble on this and represent it like from Queens, New York, you know. I don't know, so we're there to talk about the new single. Too much mm -hmm. gun in our song, you know. All yes, right, now, I'm actually the fan of video set right now, so you know the oh, thing. Oh, shoot, yeah, shoot a video. Right now. Oh, that's your word, man. So the tune and our bros, I explained before. And Dre has done a number of songs in relation to things happening in Jamaica in the past. And things and things, songs that have gone viral on social media and things. And he's very, I said, popular in the, in the Brooklyn, New York, Queens scene and thing. I, I do the yeah. music. So what compelled you to do a song? I said, because enough of your colleagues, Dre, and you know, okay, you know what I mean? So when I talk, I say, yo, the music now influence crime and music now influence the youths. Them. And why, why you take that turn there, seeing that your colleagues, them, are pretty thing that we did? Because as I play, teach them, Every song, every music video must come out now. I portray Godmanism, and the new um, title is Godman. Every every artist a Godman now. You know what I mean? Mm. So I say right now, I'm not too like the direction we go because back in the 90s and the early 2000s, there used to be more creativity in the song them. No, I just gone, gone, gone. Every song, every video a gone right now. So I say, no, we have to we have to talk about it because crime. High right now in a Jamaica, sky high, and I think the music play a, a major role in it. You know what I mean? Regardless of what the artists they must say, music have no influence. Me not believe that. Oh, you don't believe that? No. Mm. Me not believe that neither. Still, uh, we don't. We don't want to hide and say that. And I think enough of them are take it from you know World Boss because World Boss he did an interview with on stage and him they say music they have nothing to do with. You know, a lot of things will take place in a society, you know, so them emulate him. So because him said that, everybody come and I said that now. And then them come with the movie thing, say, all right, movie have more influence. But music has have as much influence as the movies do. Because mm -hmm. when I use the pan him block a rock foot and a bun him split, I have him gun pan him and hear a bad man song. It motivates him. When I was in Jamaica, I made the pan the block and I do things that I mean nothing to do. I know the effect what music used to have on me. But look at so I know it's clear and run. But it's simple, because we say, there, there's a song for every mood where you feel. If you're sad, you listen to a song and it give you a vibe. If you're down and you want motivation, you listen to a song and it, and it lift you up, it motivate you. So then why is a song can influence you negatively too? Rubbish. Rubbish. Mm. So gun, too much gun in a song, you know, is the latest project. Yes. You know and, and, well, this... Well, yeah, well, that's the latest project that's out. But this video with me I shoot right now is going to be the latest, latest project. But going in a song the most recent summer release, um, like two weeks ago. So why are the response in the street like though? Yo, the comments speak for itself. You know, the people that said this have been waiting for um, over 30,000 views on one page on Facebook, over 10,000 views on the other. A few popular um, vloggers did um, re review it. And, the, the, you know what I mean? The comments speak for itself. Just go YouTube and type in Dre Blunt, Gun in a song, and you will see for yourself. The people never feel it. Because they must say, at least they want to hear. Give a couple bars before you cut, man. Too much Gun in a song. Every artist on my blood run in a song. Every music video now Gun in a on. We not seen a Rasta man. We not drum in a on. No drum in a on. Because everybody has the musical reflection. But them not see the youths have got the wrong direction. Oh, you want me to mention them? Say, when them scam a straight way pun, the money spent pun. Some of the music have no influence, cut the crap. Because the music sent Bob Marley up the top. And now one time the sheriff make him bust the shot. This is the all of the artists who love the shot. The bag of gun in a song. Every heart is on it. You know what I mean? All right, bro. Well, we hope the man them listen and, and take it because no matter what we say, brother, as we say, if music can influence it, 
Yeah. In a positive way, can influence in a negative way, brother. See, uh, we are talking, look where I say, a youth kill an ex youth over a gathering. We see man do song about guard up about ya. You understand what I mean? Right. So, we didn't yeah. have to go further with that. Uh, brother, brother, go and do it. You understand? And, you know, we're there. We appreciate the perspective and, and the man brave enough to say the thing they want to say because some of the man they're coward too. Fox, Fox. Yeah, and we give thanks to you know, the teacher and really um you welcome you on the platform because this is a big prestigious platform, you know, <laughs> where uh, many great many great talents would have come sit on this platform. Even though I'm not there in a real life, yeah. but we really give thanks for the opportunity because a lot of people are see me right now and who never know Dre Blunt get to see Dre Blunt right now. So I'm really Thanks for the opportunity. And you can follow me for Instagram at Dre Blunt. Remember, plug me thing. Plug me. Plug me. L U N T. Run it again. Dre, at Dre Blunt on Instagram. D R E B L U N T. Yeah, and Dre, before you go, still, you know, me as a youth, we don't hide nothing. You understand? And we don't hide when people are good for you. You have been responsible for, you know, some of the progress that we have made. Are you responsible for interviews like Danny English and Gandhi and them, man? You understand what you say? Well, I appreciate that, brother, brother. Zane, so yeah, man, I'm big up teacher, man. Cause, you, cause you know you always keep it real with me from day one. Anytime I reach out to you, you know from the beginning, you know you always keep it real with me. Me can link you for anything I make you all a little dialogue. And no matter how big you get, cause I've known you from the beginning. I know your thing loud. And no matter what, you never change. I link teach them. If me think I reply, me know say I'm busy, busy. Three, four days now pass and them don't reply. So me know say that's not a high thing. And it's still all a reason with me. Like the first time. Um, we, we, we actually meet out and connect. So I'm really give thanks to teach them. You are good, you Give thanks, bro. I say a word, man. Guidance. We talk. Lock and load. Man. Yeah, peeps. Yeah. Uh, I help the people that will help you. Eh? As we said, man, they're responsible for quite a, a few of the oh. interviews. Eh? Eh? What happened? No, me not try Gandhi come to my mind with the same speed. Okay, remember Gandhi talked about him in the interview. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, I know Gandhi. I know Gandhi. I him set up English interview and all of them things. You know what I think? And one thing lead to the next one. I'm good youth, I'm good youth, I'm good youth. Mm-hmm. You understand? Yeah. All right, so, a man said too much gun, sir. Then go look for you, sir. You see him? Well, yeah, Allah. Oh, me name. Okay, I'm not busy with you now. So, watch you now. Man, I read this already? Yeah. Man no, kill. Like oh yeah, none I gone through them. Brother and peeps, the the part that I I don't I do as and and if you realize I I really don't do these murder videos anymore. Every now and then I'll do one like the Marvel situation. You know I got some resources and I decide for you know share some information with the people them and thing. But generally, none of these stories of me I cover now except the Marvel one I have done a video on. I mean, there are many channels out there with them bread and butter if you do murder videos and them something. Um, I'm not really eat butter. You understand? I'm not eating bread right now. You understand? So, everything good. Man killed, another injured, and woman sexually assaulted in home invasion. This article has left me. I don't know. Something about it, kind of. Ah, man. One man was killed, another shot, and injured, and a woman sexually assaulted during a robbery in them. A robbery in Nemard Town, St. Elizabeth. The junction police say about 8.15 p.m., armed men invaded a, family, a family's home and demanded cash and cellular phones. Now, during a struggle between 29-year-old Jermaine Green and one of the gunmen, Green, also called Jimbo, was shot. Another man was shot and injured and a female sexually assaulted. The robbers escaped with cellular phones and an undetermined sum of cash. The police were summoned and the injured people taken to hospital where Green was pronounced dead. Ja, ja. The injured man and woman were also treated. Ah, something, I don't know. And well, probably something just enough details. Right. Um, I know, something about it, like, I don't know what it is in truth. I mean, I try to figure out what is missing. So, but something, something. I guess it's just probably how it was reported. But I know that Green, who was killed, he was, he was apparently a resident of, of, of the house. And he was trying to fight them off. So I don't know if it was when they were sexually assaulted me female or what. But he was shot and, and he has since died. TJ should be in parliament <laughs> speaking for us. <laughs> you probably know why I'm going to parliament go speak here. They're good as luck me up dog there. Yeah, sir? <laughs> tell you, be a situation set up already. Hey, oh, no, brother. I, look, I have spent more than a decade of my life trying to 
instill values and discipline and the right morals and attitude in, in as many children as I possibly could. And I, I would have, you know, seen the thing getting worse and worse down the years and we try harder and we try harder. And if we have a rough to use, because so you just have to do that. You understand? And me now got there one place and see certain things are going on. We're not treated with it. We're not grown away with it. So we have tried down the years and we have played our role and played our part. But some things are just for some other people. You understand? We can't do everything. You see? That's yeah. why you have many people for do many things. You understand? Exactly. So I just saw the thing. So whilst a man who then say, I don't know if you think I am a good orator. Or you think say, me just no nonsense and we tell some people some things in a respectful way. Because I'm not a disrespectful. But like me, we run away. Don't get that wrong, you know. Don't, don't, don't misinterpret that for a minute. But I am naturally not a disrespectful person. But no feel like say you can say or do certain things and get away with it. We don't play I'm that. You understand? But we try. We have tried. You understand? We have we have saved many a youths, Zane, from from many a different situation and different things. But some other people have to take some responsibility and do the thing. You understand what I'm saying? Hey, you thing. know, um, sir, this week, this week, I had a couple of cases at school. Like, this week, we really sit down and say, boy, I mean, I feel like they make a difference anymore. Like, it felt as if you win one, you win one of the battle, but you lose two. You are Mm. Yeah, and, and like this week after a particular case, I really felt literally covered. Like, you know, make no sense. Yeah, try, but you don't feel like you reach nowhere. At all. Go on, try, man. Keep trying, man. Keep trying. We yeah. have had situations before where we feel like that, and we press on until we reach. You understand? You have days like that, man. I have had days like that. You understand? And you know, reflect on it and, and, and wheel and come again. We know it's rough. I know it is rough. You know more than many people may know the Gideon. <coughs> you understand? But it's rough. And as long as we are able to, we have to try and make a difference. Because as I say, if not so, we have to deal with them you say a road in our future. Mm -hmm. You see? I do so you think. And your youth and my youth have to deal with them you there. And you know, it's rough. And, and 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 as I said before, the, 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 the roughest part of it is that not many male teachers are go, not many males are going into the coming into the, the profession, profession, and the good males that are in the profession are leaving. Are leaving. Because when I look at the the incoming teachers that we have had, it's all female. Maybe it has, one, it has, it has been like that. We normally get a one man and then, you know, there's, there are men and then there are men. And then you try... Oh, I'm going to find my husband. I'm going to hear 90% of the time I'm going to be a woman. I'm going to hire a one. You know, if you look no man and walk, you are a regular look man. Move. Yeah, you understand? <laughs> you can't say you struggle so and then you want to come teach if you can't struggle more. <laughs> then you have no ambition. Go on, man. <laughs> You see me? And things. So it rough, sis. It rough. I and think, yeah, the female are coming. Yeah. It, it, and because the females can. Because the females, some of them spouse can help take care of them. While the male, after you take care of them spouse and the youth, them and them mother and father and everybody pan chicken feed. Like traffic guru and money. Yeah. Yeah. You see So I don't know. Most of the males have, have left and, and they will keep leaving because there's just not enough financially to support them and their family. That is just the truth. See? When he's a single male teacher, it's rough. What the bother not so bad. But when you start with a family, brother, you can't continue. You just cannot continue. You understand? She not an ambition for you, Richie. <laughs> but she was a teacher, man. <laughs> Suppose that teacher man me want. No, not under my watch. Say, look here, it must be a principal. You understand? My sister now got dead for hungry. Then you're the fire one, and I'm like, I don't draw it to that. Enough. Teach your schoolmate from my commissar, me. So, me, big up yourself, you know. Bro, Bennett, man has a respect. Yeah, man, tell me to big up himself, man. Man has man. You see me? Mm, give thanks. Auntie, yeah. 
So you are finna dig it in, but we are going to live. Cause if you feel like say me, I go take care of you and you live with money, make a sad mistake. So you better find a good man. That <laughs> me I tell you right now. Eh? <laughs> so if you want uh, say we are struggle so much as teachers on New Year's and you still want to go and teach a man, then you know, go on. Hungry kill you. <laughs> so, yes, there. <laughs> Teach a man broke. Tell her if you be a lady and stuff. Eh? And she know, you know. She know. <laughs> and I like, she don't know. <laughs> and not about you see, more time you try to help them and they not help themselves, yeah? Yeah, sir. Mm. In reality, more women take their education seriously. Don't get fresh. I, I'll, 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 I'll accept that to a level because I took my education seriously. Well, I had to. You understand? However, the thing, and more you listen to me carefully, sir, I, am, I have been teaching for over a decade and I have seen it. The men cannot survive on a teacher's salary. When you start having a family, it makes no sense. If you don't have a side hustle, you are got dead for hungry. Your woman will give you a bun left, right, and center because you can't mm-hmm. take care of her. And sometimes she don't want to give you a bun, you know, but then she will probably try to look it too. You see me? I say, the man them have to move up, bro. Go look at other places. So while the females will be able to survive because them have man I help support them thing. That's just a reality. We're not pretty tough. That's how the thing go. You understand? The man them not nobody to help them, bro. So whilst a woman can struggle it out and make ends meet because she still get her salary here, so even doing enough, but she have a partner balance her thing. While in some instances, the, the male is the partner we are balance the thing. You understand what I say? Plus the youths, them, plus everything. It's it rough, bro. You understand? So whilst females, there are more females graduating high school with many subjects and graduating tertiary institutions, that is why. But the, t- the males who have become teachers and who are trying to become teachers, they are not staying in the classrooms in Jamaica anymore no, because people. there is just not enough money to sustain them. You understand? But now we kill a Kevin, man, then, then what do you mean? Stay there. Oh, boy. Another double murder rocks Westmoreland. So the Jamaica Labour Party Council for the Cornwall Mountain Division, Donald Foster, has expressed shock at the number of murders that have taken place within her political power base since the start of the year. <laughs> Foster, who was speaking to members of the media following the killing of two men in, Highgate, in the Highgate community of Darlaston, Westmoreland, on Tuesday morning, said that this latest double killing has taken the number of persons killed in her division since January to 10. The most recent incident occurred on Monday night at a shop in Highgate and left two men dead and, an, and another nursing gunshot wounds in hospital. Those killed have been identified as 35-year-old Sonny Leslie, otherwise called Munchie, and 22-year-old Nicholas Warlock, both, labor, both laborers of Highgate. Now reports are that about 9.45 p.m., Leslie, Warlock and another man were among other customers at a shop in Highgate when a group of men drove into the community in a motor car. Two of them alighted from the vehicle, entered the establishment and opened fire on the occupants, hitting the three victims, before jumping back into the waiting motor car and sped away. So the police were summoned and upon arrival, the wounded men were taken to the Savannah Lamar Hospital, where Warlock and Leslie were pronounced dead. And all the other victim was treated and then something. Not even know I missed the hospital name and them something. So that had that. Bike and pregnant pillion murdered in Westmoreland. So a bike taxi operator and, fo- and a four months pregnant pillion were shot and killed by armed men in Westmoreland. Wow. 32-year-old Dwayne Anthony Robinson, otherwise called Wacky, a bike taxi operator in Whitehall in Negril, and 24-year-old Tassin Copeland of Nun Pearl Road, also in Negril, were killed around 11 p.m. Now Robinson was driving his motorcycle taxi along the Nun Pearl Road with Copeland as a pillion. On reaching a section of the roadway, they were ambushed by armed men who opened fire, hitting them both. Robinson lost control of the motorcycle and crashed into a building. And the police were summoned and upon arrival, both victims were rushed to the Savannah Lamar Hospital where they were pronounced dead. Man killed and two others injured in Ocherius gun attack. Gunmen struck along the Ocherius bypass in the garden parish on Wednesday night, killing one man and injuring two other persons. Dead is 41-year-old Julian Facey of Paritone in St. Anne. Now reports are that about 7 p.m. Facey was driving a Toyota Mark II motor car with two passengers on board when on reaching a section of the Ocherius bypass, gunmen traveling on another, in another vehicle opened fire at them. Yeah. The culprits later fled the scene. The injured persons were assisted to hospital where Facey was pronounced dead 
and the other person's admitted for treatment. Boy, boy. 50 year old tour bus operator found, well, shot dead in Hanover. A 57 year old tour bus operator was shot dead at his business establishment in Green Island, Hanover, approximately 150 feet from the police station. He has been identified as Fitzroy Watson, otherwise called Culture, of Crawl District in the parish. A report from the Green Island the police had at about 9.40 p.m. Watson was at his business place located along Green Island Main Road when a white motor car drove up and two men armed with handguns and rifles alighted from the vehicle. <coughs> the men reportedly entered the establishment and opened fire. <coughs> Watson, was, who was pronounced at the hospital, was sprayed with bullets all over his body. The men later escaped in a waiting car. I did a video about the marvelous situation, but the police are now probing leads to apprehend um, deadly marvelous attackers and thing as such they have released third a list of thirteen persons of interest. So the okay. St. Andrew South Police have listed thirteen men as persons of interest, and the police believe these persons can assist with ongoing investigations into recent incidents in the division. They are Courtney Ashley, thirty seven years old, otherwise called Biggs of Abbey Close in Lee's Flat, Red Hills, St. Andrew. Anchard Anglin, 37 year old, 37 year old, otherwise called An Anci, Anchi of Denver Crescent Kingston 20. 27 year old Richard Anglin, otherwise called Ho Ho of Denver Crescent Kingston 20. Curtis Eldemeyer, 22, otherwise called Mousy of Dorian Avenue Kingston 20. Men known only by their aliases, Alex of Akiwalk in Kingston, Rookie of Fenbrook Avenue and Akiwak in Kingston 20, Sheldon of Grenmead, Top Marvali in St. Andrew, Little of Marvali in St. Andrew, Sadiki of Marvali in St. Andrew, Portal Freighter of Marvali in St. Andrew, Biggie of Marvali in St. Andrew, Peddy or Nash of Marvali in St. Andrew, and Becky. The police want to talk to you, brother. I don't know. Speaking about Marvali, I bet you did. I bet you didn't know. You know that tune? Eh? I don't know when you sing it. I don't know when you sing it. Okay, I've been a feeling way about it. You understand? I don't know them when I sing them neither. Gunman shot by cronies among three killed in Norwood. There was an eight person shooting in Norwood today, you know? or last night, or one of them time. You know? mm -hmm. After the six in Marvali yesterday. You know? So I think eight were shot and three were killed. But apparently, one of the men were dead, I'm friendly and kill him. The gunman friendly, right? A gunman, okay. a gunman shot by his cronies is among the three people killed in a late morning attack in the zone of special operations in Warika Drive in Norwood, St. James. Five others, including a 13-year-old girl, were injured when a stray bullet pierced a window to her house and struck her as she prepared for a church. Wow. She remains at the hospital in critical condition. The police say it appears that the cronies of the dead gunman took his weapon before they escaped. Oh, so after he was shot, them take him gun. Them not, uh. This morning's incident makes four the number of murders in the zone of special operations in a matter of hours. Last night, a man was also killed. The police believe that this morning's attack was a reprisal. Ew. The murdered attacker has not yet been identified. The others killed have been identified as Damian Minto, 22-year-old, and Leroy Martin, 25, both of Warika Drive. The police, about 10.15 a.m., men armed with high-powered weapons entered the community of Warika Drive in Norwood and opened fire on persons walking along the roadway. During the shooting, Martin was chased and shot to death by the armed men. Minto, who was also shot, was rushed to the Corner Regional Hospital where he died. Investigators have found more than 50 spent shells. Wow. <coughs> Another one. And then is in the zone of special operations when you say you know the so police and soldiers in and around the area. You know? There. Watch teach entertainment report. Looks like he's going to pick up a new profession soon. Production. <laughs> no, sir. Anyway, anyone that tells us uh, too much work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The Andrea said, come like we have a gun factory around here. Jaja. It's a lot. It's too much. Mm -hmm. okay. 
Six of Marvel, he ate this. Uh, plus one man did get shot the night before. So that a 15 shooting. 15 men who were, were shot. Well, with a local girl. Plus the other murders on a read boat. Mm-hmm. Plus, make it even worse. Police gang cracked. All right. No. Before I go any further, may I put some scenarios to you? Mm-hmm. Imagine, and I have always said that a criminal police officer is one of the most dangerous things you can imagine. Right. Because you will drop your guard around him, mama. And you don't know say I'm a criminal. Imagine you driving by your business and police, a police team stop you. And you don't you yeah, think that a real po- you have a tap miss. Because according to the law of the land, you ought to respond to mm-hmm. a request of a police officer in that situation. Mm-hmm. So you have to stop. You wanna know? You were somewhere that was shut up. See? And you got the police station to report it. But good as the man who report it, I him did that do a shooting. Your place was robbed. And you got reported at the station. And the man who you reported to, I him have your things in my yard. I am sent for your things there. I am sent for your things there. Because mm-hmm. it is alleged that one of the policemen is the leader of the gang. Yeah, I saw that. Can you imagine these things? Eh? Yep. These are acts of terrorism, man. Yeah, I just crime them. Are you the witness? You are the witness to a crime? And you give info and, and him come rub you out. The police are giving info a few and people. A few there. people there. Mm. Whilst I am happy that some dent has been placed in this organization, can you imagine you the things that away. they have done before? You have to feel away. Away. So it's a bittersweet when type I of thing. Yeah, man, when I saw it, I was like, oh my God. Oh boy. It was that kind of feeling. Do you know how? Because while you feel, while you feel good that, yes, um, you know, they were apprehended, you still know kind of feel. And sick, I you like, you are the person who was put in charge of serving and protecting. And you did none of that. You did the opposite. Hmm. Sis, this is... And the thing is that it, it is not a new thing for police officers to be involved in, in criminal gangs and criminal organizations. No. In the Uchen Wilson gang trial, a police officer was also implicated in that. Police officers have been implicated in the trial that is going on now with the, with the, with the, the one done situation. Police officers mm-hmm. have been... You understand what I say? However... Based on my experience, it's the first time I'm actually hearing of a gang being operated by a that, police officer. By the police themselves. Organized crime in a moment. And it because takes you back. That they're just enforcers. And it takes you back to where there were a number of armed robbers in Clarendon and surrounding areas where that were caught on um, CCTV and thing. And it shows that the men who were actually carrying out these robberies had some form of training whether military training or advanced police training just so their movement or them or them operate and all of these things mm-hmm. so um these men have been well the gang the ranko gang is said to be in operation well it's based in clarendon and many of those robberies occurred in clarendon see so police gang cracked and and four of them are in custody the police well Fitz Bailey said that based on the information and, and they have been be hired. They have been investigate doing this investigation for over two years. Oh. Yeah, and it's a police. It, no no public personnel gave them no the information apparently in terms of it is I think they were observing those robberies that were caught and they realized that these men have a certain level of training. Really? That is what he said in, 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 in the press conference that they weren't given provided with any information. It was it was an initiative taken by the JCF based on their observation. So they have been tracking the, these men for over two years. They said that 27 of the, the gang is 27 strong. 
and eight mm-hmm. of them are believed to be police officers. So there are four of the eight police officers in custody, while four of them are on on the on the lam, as they, as as they call it. Okay. This is a dangerous thing. I, I, I know under I know understand if some if many people appreciate how dangerous this thing is. It is. Most definitely. Yeah, it is. I'm fatigued. So I'm not like headphone. But make you a comfortable headphone, something like that. Your ear, your ear style too big, so your earphone can rest properly upon your head. So it's a jar in your ears, them. If you pop them off. No, after a while it gets hard. Oh, okay. Two me and AC still. Yeah, I need an right, I needed one and I bought it. I, I, can, to I can tell you where they are sold. Did I ask you? And I can sold? bring in I can bring in power grid electrical to come install them for years when people them. Did I ask okay. you? Okay. You, you said you wanted an AC. I mean I no. talk. <laughs> <laughs> not so I want it. Oh, is that so you want it? Okay. No. That's oh, so you want it. <laughs> <laughs> I you already a little teacher, man. You feel a fool. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, it's a brother. This is war against the state, bro. That is what it really is. You understand what I say? Boy, I'm here to tell you. So, big up to the police, man. But. Speaking about police, you see, and uh, I can imagine, and, and the commissioner, the commissioner alluded to this in 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 a speech that he gave. That you know, some police officers are dejected about the thing. You know, feel disheartened. Say, you know, we out here try to do that something. Yeah. You see, the, you see, the hardworking police officers, them, we are serve and protect. On a big up on a damn self. You understand? I mean, I speak for me. Me appreciate the ones them. Zane, I mean, know many people appreciate the work we want to do. You understand? Mm-hmm. So, we know these things can be disheartening and, and drain on the energy. But we need the ones, them, the good ones, them in these times more than ever. Bro. So, don't get disheartened. You understand? Just continue the fight and take it towards them. And one you know, the squad mentality, you no know, need for leg off fight. You understand? And show out people if you get show out, man. <clears throat> you see? So, big up to the police officers who, did, who did the investigation into this. That led to the arrest of four police officers and looking for four more. You understand? Eh. But. Why am I tell her? Inmate runs job rocket from prison. <laughs> eh? Then that make sense? How are you going? Yeah. Yes, you don't want the AC. That's your belly. <laughs> wow. How concerned you are. I am I a very I am a very caring person. I feel the love. Mm-hmm. Inmate runs job racket from prison. Eh? Mm-hmm. Let me ask if that makes sense. Dozens of <laughs> dozens of Cayman born victims flee stuff cash. Yeah, um, King Vendetta said one of them left the island as soon as they apprehended Tafari, Tafari, Sylvester, who is believed to be the leader. So one of the four fled the island immediately, apparently. Yeah, so, so I think I'm saying that too. Mm, yeah, man. A Jamaican prisoner is believed to be the mastermind of a recently discovered overseas job scam in which about 30 persons from several parishes who were promised customer service jobs in the Cayman Islands were scammed of nearly one million dollars. <laughs> Don't laugh. I, what are you laughing about? I am no. laughing because you laugh. I'm not laughing because story. No, no, we are laughing because we are laughing. I managed their prison and scammed them. Some no, why you, why you question if you ask, you say, why you make a man of their prison scam you? That is but the question. Then I get, then I get, say, me not, me not, 
I am not in any good light to say why we make certain people scam you because well, well, good, well. they're not a good light. They're just a bit of it. <laughs> but I'm not a road that I'm not. But watch it, you know. I have always said that yeah. the people who get scammed, many of them get scammed out of desperation. Uh-huh. I have I have said that before, Zane, because you want a way out, you want to get this thing, and because you're so desperate, you're not mm-hmm. thinking logically. So you get yeah. caught, desperation, greed also lead to you being scammed. You know, don't get me wrong, you know, mm-hmm. many times, but desperation is a thing. So what you know? <laughs> what we shall do? No, according to local police source, source, the prisoner place place over time advertisements in the media for various <laughs> for various schemes, including jobs, car loans, houses, among other things, that would appeal to low income and unemployed individuals. Let me just tell you about in no, in desperation no under the insurance program. Unregistered members were required to contribute 5% of their salary monthly and in the event of job loss would be paid for a year or be otherwise employed. Your your, your process will just really look well. So basically, you have to get the job and the insurance for the job. You pay 5% of your salary and if you get Mm -hmm. fired, you get get a thing and you get other job, one year pay. Then that doesn't sound good to you. Yeah. A, inco- a job security that tell brother. <laughs> the company which operated under the name Employees Corporation of Jamaica at 85 Ackley Park Road in Kingston had circulated a flyer on social media seeking 30 persons to work in Cayman on work exchange. Work permits, plane tickets and accommodation were promised. <laughs> Some victims who had been preparing to leave Jamaica on Saturday had quite had quit their jobs. Are really quiet had quit their jobs and had taken out loans for the trip oh, so e- some even sold their furniture so when they know so they're not gonna find then we're gonna find out however several victims who expected refunds after the trip was cancelled that their world turned upside down after they learned on sunday via an advisory on facebook from the cayman islands labor ministry that neither the ministry nor the workforce oppor- opportunities and residency came on are, were affiliated with the Employees Cooperation of Jamaica. They didn't come kind of real. Many turned up at the fraud squad office in downtown Kingston on Monday to report the matter after the branch director, who had promised to refund the money, informed them that she was going to the station. Roxanne Francis, who had, re- who had resigned, said they were told that the company was fairly new but that it had branches in 21 different countries yeah. <laughs> they make them think believable that's what I got. we were informed that we would have worked for the company for two weeks with pay before we migrated to the cayman islands on march 19. but we were not paid that salary and we had to be going back and forth with the person as the information was not communicated effectively among everyone she said now according to francis the company's production manager who had conducted the training had assured them that the job was legitimate. But she said the branch manager disclosed in a WhatsApp group Sunday night that she did not know who the owner was and had never met him. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, you know. I don't know. <coughs> she, she, she said she had been working with him since January 22nd, but he has never paid her and that and that it is his baby mother who provides her with a source of income. I am not certain as to how she pays the workers who are enrolled, Francis added. Another victim who had quit but whose employer had not accepted his resignation said he was very skeptical of the job opportunity from the outset but brushed aside those reservations because his relative had helped him land the post and gave assurances that it was genuine. Roshane, who requested that his name be withheld, said... He had seen the flyer floating around, but had not given it a thought until his niece told him to check it out. He admitted to, he admitted to having misgivings because of several red flags, but pushed ahead. I believe in the business idea, especially after seeing how many people lost their jobs in the pandemic. However, he said for March, the company told them that it had a promotion where persons were registered, where persons who were registered were required to pay $500 per week, and that each of them was mandated to recruit at least 50 persons to qualify for the Cayman program. Bomb back. 
But the call center worker said after encountering several red flags, including legal documents filed with grammatical errors, February flights delay, February flight delays, assurances of no need for a COVID-19 vaccination or testing for a travel. <laughs> Changed his mind after the trip was cancelled on Saturday. He demanded back his money, but was told it was too late. Mm -hmm. Roshan said he spent about $50,000, including funds for a police record, but was more worried about other victims who had exhausted their income and were deep in debt. A lot of persons resigned from their jobs. Some sold down to their furniture. I know one girl who gave up her house and went to stay with her mother, as she was saying her contract was for three years. A lot of people went out their way, and what really hurt is that we are not being treated as victims. <laughs> According to Russian, the police seem to be treating the branch manager as a victim, claiming naivety. However, he has cause for concern because the executive reportedly repeatedly assured them that the company had secured work permits. Meanwhile, attorney at law Stephen Jackson, who has been retained by the branch manager, said his client has not been detained by the police and that she went in to make a statement. My client is not involved in any fraudulent activity, and I have not gotten any instruction about that money. But we are ready to show that we are not involved, he said. That wicked. Nick, Nick said, well thought out though. Very well thought out. Moral of the story. People but too quick to sign. No, what a piece of scamming. If their grammatical errors are present, watch out. <laughs> Real scammers. Ja, 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 ja. Tell you, boy. Hmm. I tell you, boy. Oh, I want to let us money in the chat. Just send this. Just send it to me, you know. <laughs> just send um, the, 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 uh, the flyer. The camera is asleep. Wake up. Right, it. Will you not see it? No, Focus. the light um, Oh, the, the light, light uh, over your head. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what I'm going for. Okay. Well, I'm not going to see it clear yeah, still. Yeah, let's see it now. Hey, but you're not going to clear, 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 clear like that. Right, so it's a. I'm going to read it for you. <laughs> Employees Corporation of Jamaica, the island of the Logan, brother, Cayman's Airway. Mm -hmm. Work in the Cayman Islands. 30 customer service representatives is required from Jamaica. Is required. Is required. You know? Listen to this. 30 customer service representatives is required. All right. From Jamaica to work in the Cayman Islands as part of the company's work exchange program. The company will provide work permit, plane tickets, and accommodation. Qualifications? Mm -hmm. One, minimum high school education. Two, at least six months customer service and call center experience. Three, five subject passes. So minimum high school. <laughs> five, uh, good command of the English language and pleasant personality. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you get WhatsApp number, email, email, address the email, a resume, and website. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, uh, I tell us I get scammed one time when I was young, right? I did look awesome. Um, well, I did oh, that, yeah. that for a long oh, time. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. It was desperation. And after that, never again, man. You yeah, understand? I don't know what I did. Honestly, I don't know what I did. I don't know what I did. Fool. Naivety? Fool. No, I don't think of fool. But I have told you that already. I tell you what to go and what to do. So I fool you, fool. You're naive. You <laughs> <laughs> can't do your thing, Mr. Dunn. I said, God, you're yeah, international. Yeah. No, 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 I bought me a table. I'm not talking about oh, 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 that oh. thing. You see me? Brother, you yeah, were going here, yeah, man. Desperation, man. One, one night, I'm sure that story there again. Come on, I'm thinking about what I'm I'm just dead with laugh, you know. This, this, yes, yeah, we ask about my age, man. My age is not matter. I'm really young. That me I tell you. So, nobody can use my age and talk about why you're the big boy. I was young, sir. <laughs> You understand? Yeah, yeah when I get scammed one time, I saw a house advertising in a paper, man, and all of these things, they tell me, say, yo, they all provide moving truck, and I say, moving truck, and my money tight, you know, brother? And I want to move, you know? And my money tight, and I say, yeah, moving truck, I'm going to save my money this year, you know? What? Uh, 
moving truck. I never enough money me lose still. But remember, you did see better after. Yeah, man. Of course. Mm -hmm. I, and, I, and, I, and I spoke to him very well about it. <laughs> he was very nervous. But me assurance, mm -hmm. me not going to hurt him. I want to hurt him. But everything good, man. Mm -hmm. so, well, I think I him, 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 him try to sell some juice and I try to turn on in life. I mean, I said, make up if you see her. That's what, that's what. But no, no, no. Uh, that means I said, no, no, do, man. Yes, you're easy. You could have used a three pints, brother, for my money. I missed time I called me to you know. Missy, I'm sorry that you promised that. If they're the young and all of them, I say, you're no, 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 do, man. Because right, I know your head back could have get lick out. You see? But we're not them type of you. Everything good. I say, I try to turn on your life. Big up yourself. Go on, sell. Go on, do your thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yes, yes, I was young. That that's all I need for know. I was so young. No, was you wasn't sure. young. You wasn't young at all. Auntie Barry asked me really scatty. Yes, I was if, young. If it was before that alley, if it was like a couple years before that, it then different. But them time there, most of a good place in my life. You understand? Auntie. <laughs> but was it a good place? So Ali says yes, I love people. <laughs> what does that mean? I never get scared with you. I'm a doubtful towers. Brother, I treat them by a nice situation where you're desperate. You understand? <laughs> I, had to, I had to move from where I was. You understand? And these things. And when the man tell me, say, yo, move in chuck all apart. I, I said, move in chuck. And I move, me want move and chuck me there. Oh, yeah, I said, man. <laughs> yes, stay there. God, my God. Yes, man. <laughs> and thing. So, that's what we can identify with some of my desperation thing, what we tell her. But never again, man. Right now, you can't. Me, me move a chicken and you trick me. Adapt me, I tell her. So. <laughs> <laughs> Teach him, so like you're at 12. Yes, you can't jam you. Top of eyes. <laughs> Teach him, you tell your pressure and set me here. No, you know. No, sir. I want to listen to me there at all. I'm telling you. Because they tell me, don't teach us college and they sit there. Yeah, mm -hmm. sir. Hey, but, but you have to go? Up, no, nah, man, no, nah, man. When you move, go up, so. Oh, oh, hey, oh, oh, but we oh. never get this yet. You understand? Uh, <laughs> yes, I brother, the man, the man, the man, come on me hard, come collect the money in the brother. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what we got to see each other the evening, about 40 people did it, man. <laughs> he did have some I mean, money in him. And it has some money in my pocket. You never add up back to my money still, but me take that. Right in run that police them. Can you know I'm in a handcuff? I mean, I said, we thump him all in face to you, man. I mean, just... <laughs> me say I'm money for you. <laughs> See? We get back like about 80% of my money. Okay. Yeah. You're not you better standing than me. Eh? You're not better standing than yeah, me. Yeah, me not much better standing than you, <laughs> Much better standing now. Yeah, man, we get back so well, man. What do you see, man? Yeah, say, yeah man, we just walk up to you, man. You're frying like a wall, man. And I say, yo, no, no, do, man. <coughs> yes, you're easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, we take out the money out there. Everybody else has hurt in pocket. But then we take my money and go on, brother. Where's <laughs> <laughs> where's the other? Yeah, I'm tired for that. Yeah, that's a... <coughs> that man, so I forgot a quote for Kali Kira Simon. Yeah, so now, nah, man, me make, it, me make this deal, man. Everything good, man. Yes, everything good. <laughs> <laughs> so what what they look at some things and you just laugh because yeah, I said Jado. Yeah. Me I said look how look how me couldn't do that man and some things man. Teach him, he was surprised. <laughs> you took the bait. Brother, a man can collect the money, brother. I tell us a man can collect the money, brother. Quick and fast. I said you too. Brother, twenty percent of the lesson. <laughs> Brother, right now, me more for scamming that, the scam now, and, and do the do the things. Yeah, that's sad, but we learn, we learn, man, we learn. So, certain things be very, be very, you know, you know, you know. Plus, we're not frightened, so easy neither, brother. You understand? We don't get carried away. And certain things, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, I want to trust people like that. So, it was, it was, a, it was an almost expensive lesson. <coughs> but, me tell us, me take out my money out of my pocket. Me don't know if first of people they get. <coughs> you understand? And me end up lose ball. About three, about three grand out of money. I think I did 15 grand. I made that about 12 grand out of my pocket. 12, 5, the region. Mm. Right in half a tree police station on a Sunday evening. Call me a call the dog and I wait for the moving truck, you know. Moving truck. The pop up on a way. Yeah, police eventually called me. 
Because apparently, they see him back calling phone and, and other people are trying to call him. Because mm. alone, apparently, he make a money out of that one scam, you know. <coughs> and then somebody oh. come to half a tree police station. Quick and fast, my reach, man. Take my money out of my pocket. Auntie, you want to see my ball? I'm not busy with this, Katia, man. Money me go for you, though. <laughs> that was a thing set. <laughs> a friend, we got to fill up. We got to collect the money. We're not busy with a guy. Yeah, that's sad. <coughs> Yeah, 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 Yes, yeah, I don't feel no way about it again. I have got over that. Yes, yeah, I tell you, if I get over the man, and when I see me, I can walk up to him and scat him and realize who me is. You don't know if you don't know if you run or if you try to sell me one away, I'm going to sell her. What I say, calm down, man. Everything good, man. Calm down. I mean, I wrote me a girl, so I'm well just and thinking, and so he probably looked down and said, This man and I do me nothing, man. So he decided to be better. I say, calm down, man. Calm down. I'm going to take him and remind him. I'm going to say, no, 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 man. You understand? Because we're dead, man. You see me? Mm. So, I see I try to sort out the thing. I the right way that. I the right way that. You understand? A lot. A lot, sir. A lot. I am sure you wouldn't escape a kick door. I represent a straight right. <laughs> but they're going to beat you up, man. But, <laughs> Auntie, but it's true, I get my money. <clears throat> and think them time they are assassin, but no, you are Sasko. <laughs> That's a good one, that's a good one, that's a good one. DJ, we pack up the thing. Wait, it's a moving chop me a with pan. You answer? Well packed. Well packed. So, I have to get by the money, then make up your money now and hit the road again. <laughs> Look, so weird. I have to just laugh. But watch it right now. <clears throat> but a serious note, because night coming up. I'm there from 7 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And now I'm 11. Mm -hmm. You answer? I'm Monday now. I know I'm Monday, man. You answer? From Friday, come on Monday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the next day. So Jack Ewer has been sentenced. The prosecutors were looking for eight years as we shared in a stream before now. He was sentenced to six years for attempted manslaughter and not attempted murder. He was found not guilty on that charge. Mm -hmm. And them something there. So he has two weeks, I think, to appeal the ruling if he's unsatisfied with it. <clears throat> and like Jamaica we can't we, we, we appeal <coughs> indefinite. You can appeal uh, 10 years on your road, so apparently you have two weeks on these things. Um, when I shared his first court, the first court appearance where the prosecutor presented their case, they said that they were voice notes and text messages and they would have shared some <coughs> teach what brand headphone. Um, <coughs> Bose QC35. I think Scotty have QC30 or QC25. She have the old one. Why am I not 35? Because the next 35 day for the end of the studio, I'm not buying a boss to go see 35 cents by a yard. Well, then me use it to me, me up on the road or something. I want to go up on the airplane and then sit there and keep. See, they're brand new. See that? One time you use it. See that? Brand new. I'm not finding it very disrespectful. Yeah. So I'm not saying my brand new things. How much, much brand new things I need to send down there? Everything. Your brother, not your baby father. You understand? <laughs> Yeah, wicked brand man, comfortable brother, very comfortable, very, very comfortable. You know, say a wireless and nice scans lead and things. I just use them. I use them because of them, com them comfort and them, them um, profile. Yeah, but Scotty have the old one. You have the, the newer one. You don't want to. <laughs> but I did buy one new one for you when you're in a studio, you're in a studio, then I can't cater for you. I give up, I give up. Friend, <clears throat> man, give them friend what they got. <laughs> <laughs> you know, wait, 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 wait. You had that one. No, you have it, but it's there. It is here. It is for the studio, not outside the studio. I'm going to start come in studio to stream. Then we take my things over there, yard. You have to go come to them. <laughs> So, this is not the problem. All right, so watch her. Very good quality. Yeah, man, a real, ma a real machine, then, man. So, watch her now, sis. The Jack you thing, you know. Yeah. Um, one of the things that helped to help his made his conviction easier is 
voice notes. Well, I got one. I don't know if there are more. The voice notes that he I sent. Heard it. And I think there's an expletive somewhere in this. Some um, my apologies. If we couldn't edit this, may edit the video about it. There's some other brother. Let me tell you a story. I'm in the middle of Amsterdam Square with some killers. I'm waiting on Papa to stab them like sixty thousand times, bro. And I have the knife myself. I'm ashamed to tell you this, bro. I take off all my jewelry. I'm in the damn square with Penko, and I'm gonna show Penko that he needs to put respect on his name. My brother, this is stupid what I'm telling you, but believe me to God, if Papa shows up here, you will hear the news and someone will be here to make the video. My brother, I'm not lying when I tell you this. I'm waiting on Papa to fix him. Good. And I'm waiting if he shows, brother, you will hear the news. I make no joke. And I would never send you a voice note like this for no reason. I'm not here to make a comedy show, bro. Or a movie. But I'm here to start a real fuck live show. Bro, believe me. This nigga let me work this stage and don't pay me, bro. And he's talking tough. I'm waiting on him. Bro, if he shows, you will know. Well, he showed. And we know. So that way. And, and, and let me state this. Equivocally. <coughs> When a man work, he ought to be paid. I mean, I repeat that close up in my mic when you hear me. Nice. When a man work, he should be paid. I depend on that. I yeah. work. First thing still, if I work, like I said to you, first and the next thing, I'm trying to wonder why is an artist of Jackie Tatia treating with a promoter in terms of payment? Shouldn't his booking agent or booking agency or his management <laughs> treat with that? Me I wonder, because of them things a big artist too. You see what I'm saying? Jack, you're a big artist. No matter how you feel about him personally, a big, big artist. Big, big singer. So that's the first thing. Secondly, this gentleman, the papa fellow, apparently has a reputation of not meeting his obligations when he employs artists to perform. So if I know Scotty, say you are keep a show, then... And you want to teach them to come mash up the show because I'm a bad DJ. And me, he said, down years, you not pay the artist them. And Jack Curry is not a broke artist. I'm certain of that. That's a Well, at least my 50% deposit. Uh -huh. You understand? And then now, me get me other thing when the show is done. Uh -huh. So, if me know say you not pay money, and regular artists are complaining say you not pay money, then me not come perform for you neither. I'm not hungry. Jackie, you're not hungry. Jackie, you're a big artist, as I say, rightfully. So, why then, with that reputation, why? Because your face, oh, he must have paid me. Maybe that was it. But, but, but then again, maybe, sir, also, he and the, 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 the promoter might have a good relationship. So, I mean, as we say, possibly. You know, Exactly. So if they have a good relationship, you may be cure and say, you know, me and him good. So mm -hmm. me go work and him go pay me because me and him good. Oh, okay. You you ever, ever you then say when fish come from sea bottom come tell us a shark down there must believe. Then me not a sea bottom. I am a come from down there and say shark down there. Then me no need to go down to find out a shark down there. Me not get that me not get that perspective there. Me and you good like that. So me go work and you go pay me. Me and you good. Him, they not, they, him not expect it. Him will get the, the same and everybody else get. Why? I'm friend. Oh, I'm, I'm friend. friend. Oh, it's okay. not him good. Oh, you're assuming. Remember, you're assuming this enough. Right. Yeah. Because people yeah, think say you're saying my friend. Right. Yeah. yeah, just a scenario. But I'm just assuming that. Cure was for the lands in New York, no manager. Indeed. That not safe, Ali. And next thing now, there is not, we're not the Jamaica. In countries mm -hmm. like those, legal redress is very attainable. You yeah, understand? Report the matter to the authorities and have them treat with it. Why you take up this on your head? So you know, and, and listen to me, and as I say, when, when a man work in a scat, you don't get me wrong, because when you work, I pay, you know. You yeah, understand? Yeah. All right. See? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. You plan to stab a man 60,000 times over the non-payment for one show 
I know you will miss 60,000 show. Is it really worth it? And I see people I say, yo, them rate Jack Cure because he's is, is a man of him word and him take a stand. Crap. Oh, boy. Really? Bullshit. And six years in life, don't you dream something? So, but you, a, a man can't sing in a couch away. in a bedroom comfortable and the AC are watching big screen on him nice phone and say anything in a kind free. Exactly. The man lock up for six years. What can, that don't make no sense, brother. Yeah, they know, they know probably his ability to travel after him come out is affected again. So, again, his money is affected. Sometimes, even when we are wronged. We have to learn if we go through the system the right way or walk away. The person with Jackie sent the voice note. He said, if Jackie sent me the voice note, then come and stop Papa. Hey, I call him. What do you mean if I call him? What do you mean if I call him? I call him. And if I hear your bridging, call me, I assume the person who sent it to him bridging. And mm -hmm. if me call you as my bridging and you still gonna stab him, then find it up on your own. But me you know say as your bridging, me I gonna make you know so that nothing go on in the brother. And we don't know how the person react neither. We don't know if the person mm -hmm. talking oh, down yeah. either. No. Yeah, the person try to talk him down too. Or maybe the person instigated it further. So we don't know. Zin, all I'm saying is that sometimes <clears throat> we have to just follow the red flags then. The man apparently has a history of not paying artists. No work for him. If the artist is not the and then again, you want it in the business. Because if we know this promoter not paying, the whole of we as artists come together and we say we not work for him. Then he got dead for hungry, brother. You understand? But because the things are divided and some man over here and some man over there, so brother. No consensus, no anything. No, the artist. And I, I mean, I wish them things upon nobody, you know. <clears throat> no, man. I know the voice note him said some moonlight. Say, he must stab Papa 60,000 times. <clears throat> he must stab him 60,000 times, man. I didn't just say that. You see? I don't wish them things upon no man. I don't want no man can enjoy their freedom, brother, and move as them wish. <clears throat> Six years. In our next man country, in our next man prison, I mean, know some people are going to say, but teach them prison better than Jamaica, you know. Brother, Chris Jamaica, are your yard, brother. Your bridging them can't come link your family. Your family them can't come link you. Your girl them your can't girl cook them some can't food, can't come, can come give you, brother. Mm. You understand? So it's a totally different thing being in a prison, Jamaica, even though the conditions may be far worse than in Alan. How much people, Jack York, are going to visit Jack York, uh, Alan, you know? You see? So, I know. I don't know. I hope Jack you are used this time again to do some deep introspection, some deep praxis, <laughs> as in reflection, assess himself as a person because he too need to learn to treat with certain things differently as well. You understand? Social media is filled with voice notes and video clips of Jack Ewer acting in manner in a manner that is not befitting of a Rasta man in the first place and as somebody who has so much success. Yeah, son? So, the promoter will pay the man. Yeah, son, what I mean, say? The promoter will pay the man, but alright, you are not paid. See? There are different ways of dealing with the thing, man. Thump up in his face. Give him a couple of days as. Yes, and I don't think it's a knife that need this. And then you send voice note. Say, I got to so do it. And then apparently even texted him and said, Yo, I'm mean, the last man. Last man, I got to leave his style. I started the thing. So there were some texts as well. Apparently oh. to the promoter. Yeah, man. <clears throat> Let me know what next video I'm going to do. Yes, See me, if you have a kick down papa or box down papa or thump him in the face, then different thing that. They would have looked at assault charge. I'm attempted manslaughter this, bro. And it could be worse. It could have been attempted murder. Mm -hmm. You see? So, why cure? I don't think you're going to see this or hear this still. But, 
if you do know, brother, just use the time for reflect, do some introspection, right. assess okay. yourself. You're a big man. You understand? And the truth is that there are instances where you have been behaving like a boy. See? And me keep on I go back to that interview there with Ronald. When I say, Ronald, you need to talk to little Melody, brother. Because I'm not all no mess. And Ron said, teacher, you know, I talk to you. And apparently, Ron didn't reach one to talk to you. You see? But, the promoter will pay the man, sis. You can't expect the man to live from so far to come work for you, you know, and pay the man either. Mm -hmm. But then, cure for deal with the thing different. You see me? You can't send them voice note then either. Him not so a voice note to other man in that thing. Mm-hmm. Boy, I mean, I tell you. Every week, cure name, cure the power voice note, him and woman, no problem, man, that happened, no problem, man, this man, no problem, man. <coughs> but I don't know, yeah, man. I did a video once where a psychologist, a, a psychologist, a psychiatrist, one of them, said that Jack Cure needed psychiatric help. And I did the video. And people say, yo, who are you looking for money? Bad man on.